Hey, everybody. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Did you expect me to stay away for very long? I promise this will be my last live show <laughs> before Christmas. I hope. But um, I have a last minute gift to make for someone um, that I'm going to Christmas Eve dinner. And I forgot all about her. So I thought, oh my God, I'm going to make her something. And how can you forget someone that you're going to Christmas Eve dinner to? But I did. So what I'm about to make, I made these many, many years ago. I made my mother many sets. Um, and she absolutely loved them. And she, she had them right up until she died, actually. So let me show you what you're going to need. You're going to need some plastic forks. And why did that just... Oh, it's on autofocus. Get off. All right. So good morning, April. Good morning, Joanna, Christina. Hi, ladies. So I got some forks from the dollar store, and these are actually plastic forks. They're not metal. They look metal. They're really cool. And I've always used clear forks for this project, but I'm going to use these silver ones just because I, when I seen them, I was like, ooh, and I was going to buy them for uh, Christmas dinner. <clears throat> But I changed my mind and got red ones. <laughs> but these are nice, big, thick forks. So And they're silver, so they're pretty cool. Anyway, you're probably wondering why I'm here again. Well, I got all my Christmas wrapping done yesterday. I was so proud of myself. Got all my Christmas shopping done, except for the grocery part, because that, that I'll do on Sunday for my Christmas dinner. Uh, here at the house and I got my Christmas cleaning to do and that will get done on Sunday so I'm pretty much ahead now um, I even cleaned my craft room yesterday so I'm really ahead of myself so I believe when I made these you're going to make a set you're going to need 22 forks but we'll see these are big ones so I don't know how many I'm gonna need but anyway <clears throat> Let's have some fun. Now you're going to need <clears throat> four circles, and it doesn't matter what size of chipboard circles you use. Um, I'm covering mine because just because they're black, and I don't want them to show. So these are the bottoms of my circles, and these are going to be the tops of my circles. So what I want to do is actually glue this down before I, I do any trimming, and I don't want any black showing on here. Like that. And these pieces of chipboard are from those gift boxes I made. So they're just scrap pieces. So not, nothing special. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Carol. Hi, Jen. So um, this is a kind of like a shabby chic project. Just so you know, it takes laces and ribbons and not a whole lot of paper crafting. So, <clears throat> But you do need some paper crafting. Now, I was going to, I think I'm going to, hmm, I think I'll glue these down first before I actually trim them. And I don't know if I want to hot glue them or use wet glue. I really don't. I think I'll just hot glue them down. Why not? Why not? Get nice and close to the edge, though. And then I'll push those down. Hi, there. Sherry. It's Sherry's first time today. Yeah, welcome, Sherry. I'm glad you're with us. Okay. So let me... Um, this is a beautiful, elegant gift to give to somebody. If you... Thinking of giving someone a last-minute Christmas gift, go dollar store. If you got, um, um, what you want to call it, uh, laces and trims stuff. Okay, so that's glued down. Now I want to glue this one here, and I want to really go close to the edge as well.
I am covering these anyways, but I just didn't want the black showing. So I thought I would, because I'm, I'm making pink and pink and white and silver. I think that's going to be, these are going to be gorgeous when they're done. My mom's were purple. Of course, they were purple. Okay. So there's two blued. Okay. I'm probably already going to need another glue stick. Wow. Of course. They're quite fast. Ladies, I've been up since 4 a.m. and already was covered with paint and inks and stuff by the time 5 o'clock hit. What were you <laughs> making? Um, I'm, I can't leave anything the way it is. And, you know, the metal floor grids, the grates that go in your, you know, for the ductwork. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't leave it, you know, just silver metal. No, you had to paint them, right? Yeah, I have to paint them and, and <laughs> stamp, you know flourishes and medalla designs on them and stuff. Well, of course you did. Because I can't leave anything alone. <laughs> nope, me either. And I got some marabou feathers. I got pink and white, I think. <laughs> oh, you found white? Yay! Yeah, I got some. I dug in my stash. You must have heard me digging and digging. Yeah, I didn't know what you were digging for. I was digging for all my stuff. <laughs> That's what I was digging for. All right. So now we can trim our circles. And then we're going to cover these. With she sounded like a big hamster this morning. I come in here and I hear all I hear is dig, dig, crash, bang, scrinchel, 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 crunch, crunch. <laughs> I was like, hi, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Oh. Digging through my bins. <laughs> that was funny though. Lace. You sound like a gigantic Lace, hamster. Ribbon, um, uh, seam binding, flowers. Oh yeah, feathers. Feathers. I was looking for everything. I don't know what I'm gonna be in beads, pearls. I don't know what I'm going to be using, so that I'm just gonna go with the flow, and hopefully they turn out. Gorgeous. Barbara, she hasn't told us exactly. It's one of those kind of, it's an elegant Christmas gift. That's all I know. Made with plastic forks. I love Some that. Some of you may have seen these yeah. around years ago, but I have never seen anybody make these. So, um, they're gorgeous. I like the flowers on that one you have in your hand. Yeah, that's Christmas poinsettias. But they're not red. Maybe not. But I like them. They're pink. They're white. I like them. I like them, eh? Very much. Okay. <laughs> okay. Peekaboo. <laughs> Barbara's like, okay, cool. <laughs> okay. All right. Another thing I, I got to hear for a half an hour, ladies. What? Miku somewhere off in the in the house. Peekaboo, peekaboo. <laughs> Dolly kept saying peekaboo over and over. He loves playing peekaboo. Mm -hmm. I do need my gluing mat. And where is that little sucker? And it's right here. Okay. So I'm going to work on my gluing mat because I will be doing a lot of gluing today. All right. So these are actually the tops. These are the bottoms. And we're really not going to have to hide them. So I'm just going to cover this part here. Let me get my glue tools. And I've got myself here some really pretty pink sheer uh, lace that I'm going to put over top of these. And I'm just going to glue them on, glue them down. I mean, I don't know how much of them you're going to see <clears throat> by the time I'm done with this. So we will just 
have to go with the flow. And Flo's always a good sport. She doesn't mind that people are constantly going with her. Yeah. Well, you know how that goes, right? Yep. She's she's a nice lady. And of course, you guys can't see what I'm doing, so let me move my camera down. It's that easy. That'd be me. I'd be <laughs> crashing in another room for <laughs> from the camera. Oh, I'm sorry. Couldn't see ya. Oh, Elvis wants to see Grandma. No, that's Tia. Is it? Yeah. She wants in. She's doing that to Ace, the bulldog. There's a bulldog there? Yeah. Who's bulldog? It's a blue. It's Kevin and Liana's. It's a I blue. Love Liam. I love bulldogs. He is gorgeous. He's black and white spotted. He's absolutely cute. They wanted to see your dog. Can we, dog? Like, can we, I can't get him in the camera. He's cute. What kind of dog is he? Come on, I want to see him. Please, please, please. He's a what? A Palha Blue Bloodline Bulldog. A Palha Blue Bloodline Bulldog. He is so... I want to see him. I want to see him. I want to see him. He is so cute. I will take a picture of him and post it for you because they have lots of pictures of, of Ace. Catch your camera. Yeah, I can move my camera. Yeah, just whip the camera around. Oh my God, like you did okay, that. Okay, let me pause this and I will move my camera. Hey, I'm flipping out. Hey. I love bulldogs so much. That yeah, is a true. Sure, buddy. Sure. Hang on, I gotta sure. unravel it. Sure. What's it? What's it? Come here, Ace. Come see Grandma. Sure. Okay. <laughs> He came barreling in here. <laughs> okay, there he is. I don't know. Ace, there you are. Hi, baby. Is he not just a darling puppy? It looks like the Boston Terrier I had growing up. Oh, My very so first dog. Cool. Look at you. No, yeah, Alvis is going to be jealous. Alice is, Alvis is very jealous of him. Oh, yeah. my God. He's gorgeous. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that's, that's very rare. Yeah. Hi, uh, look at him. Elvis. Oh, Elvis is jealous. Oh, hey, yeah. <laughs> oh, underneath my desk. <laughs> oh, my God. Best morning ever. That just made my entire day. Yeah. Okay. So people were asking what I'm working on. Look, this is what I work with beside me. This is my drawers. I keep them. All the stuff in here that I'm using, I keep in these drawers. That's why right. you can get stuff so quick. Yes. Now let me put my camera back up here. All right. That was so awesome. He's cute. They're all adorable. Oh, my God. He's so cute. All he wants to, he's so big that all he wants to do is play, and the yeah. other dogs are just nasty. They don't want to play with him. <laughs> Hates them. Elvis is so jealous of him. So, so jealous of him. So, I'm not sure how good my camera's back, but Elvis is getting kicked out of my room. It Ooh. looks pretty good. Uh, the camera's clearer than it was to begin with. All oh right. my gosh. All right. So, let me just straighten it. I guess the camera liked him too. <laughs> yes. Oh, I hey, I'm going to go deal with the dog and the bird. Ow. I would just be in heaven in that house, all those animals. Oh, my God. The other dogs probably don't like uh, Ace because he can bulldoze them. <laughs> He's kind of like a, like a speed bump. Did you see how lovely he was and all wiggle butt already this morning? Okay. That's why, Ruby, the other dogs are nervous around him because he can bulldoze them. 
He's attacked Elvis a couple times, but it's only in retaliation to Elvis attacking him. Yeah, yeah. So that's... They learn. They learn their social skills real quick. Yes, yes, <laughs> they do. Yeah. <clears throat> so... I would be in heaven at your house right now, all those animals. I don't, I don't know what I'd do with myself. Well, it's a zoo. That's all I can tell you. You're it's so lucky. I'm just so lucky. All you are. Animals. That is pure heaven being surrounded by animals like that. He's a bloodline bulldog, blue bloodline bulldog. I knew he was a rare breed. He's very expensive. He's very cool. But he's so... How would he's I rough that? and tumble. That's what they're like. Well, he doesn't like people coming to the door because he runs to the door like he's going to charge at them. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to need to beware of dog sign. He's not even a year old yet. No, nope. yeah, you can tell. Yeah, he's, he's still... He's very wiggle really butt still. Yeah, he's still a little pup. Well, he's not, I think he's eight or nine months old. He's getting there. He sure is growing bigger and bigger. So he's basically just getting out of his toddler stage age-wise, mentality-wise. Yeah. Hey, Clint. You missed the wiggle butt. <laughs> the wiggle butt. He was. They're wiggle butts. That's the way that mine was, too, growing up. Yeah. Bulldogs are very, very wiggly. Mm -hmm. They get so excited. They're loving. That's what they do. <laughs> they're probably just so crazy more than their tail. It's hilarious. Yeah. All right. So that's all we need to do to those other than to uh, put some lace around the edge of them. And then we're going to glue these beautiful doilies on top of these. So... That's them. So I'm just going to clean this up now, and then we'll get on to the actual project now. And you guys are going to know right away when you see it. It's just like my tree. When I start putting it together. <clears throat> so you want the bottom pieces first. Let's start with one. And now you'll take your forks. And we got to cut these. Do you have safety glasses? I'm not actually going to cut these. I don't think I'm going to leave them. I, I might have to cut them a little bit. Yeah, because they're really big on the bottom bases, and you need 11. Oh, not... dear, yeah. Those are so pretty, though. Wow. Just so about blinding in the camera. Look. Six. Yeah. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 11. Clint is here. I don't can't remember if you were at the cam at the time. You just got oh, here. Clint. All right. Yeah, I got to trim off the wide parts of these because they're not going to fit on here. And you need at least, I would say, 11. <coughs> so what can I use? Get rid of this wide part. Oh, careful. I knew that was going to happen. <clears throat> yeah, they're going to splinter, aren't they? Yeah, but that's kind of okay. But I don't want them to wreck. No, that's not okay. Wire cutter. Mm. Got a big pair of chompers. Or tin snips. These have to be perfectly centered apart. That looks like they'll be good. They do look like real kitchen forks, to be honest with you. They do in the camera. Yeah, they do. 
So they look pretty good. Look at that one. Not very evenly spaced. Yeah, so there should be five here, one in the middle, and they should all be evenly spaced like that. So I think I'm going to just leave it like that. Because I think those look pretty darn good. And if they aren't perfectly straight, you can remove them. So let's lift up our first fork very carefully and we'll glue it down. And don't be cheap on the glue. What time does what start, Carol? Oh, Carol, she started uh, ha almost half hour ago. Uh, just reload the page. YouTube is probably messing with you. Do those look even? They pretty pretty much do, eh? Um, can't see. Yes, them. They do. Okay. So don't be cheap with the glue. Because you're honestly not going to see this mess underneath so don't don't panic Carol if you can hear me it has started uh, just reload the page the YouTube page She's not seeing the, the stream. She's just still seeing that we're waiting. Really? Yeah. So this looks pretty awesome. Looks pretty good to me. Now I'm going to do the second base right over top of this one, and that way I'll get them all the same. So this is how we'll do it to get them perfectly the same. And let the other one dry. So it does take 22, because I clearly remember, and I haven't made these for about 15 years, and I still remembered it took 22. It took 11 mm -hmm. per, per thing. You think Debbie just got here. She had just posted something on the Facebook page, and I go, Ruby's on. I, you know, responded quick. Uh -huh. She never got a notice. I know that happens a lot. More often than not, actually, it's just wrong. Yeah. That's happened to me too, Barbara. Okay. Clint, uh, just like the, the YouTube channel says, elegant last minute Christmas gift. Hi, Carol. Yeah, she started right on time. It's YouTube does that to you, though. Hi, Sue. Sue just arrived. Hi, Sue. Hi, Debbie. We need another glue stick. These are for my daughter's boyfriend's um, mom. Oh, cool. 
Try. Is that the grandmom for, for Ace? No. It's the oh. grandmother for the baby. Come on. Oh. She's the second grandma. Yep. She's the second grandma. And if you don't like how one turns out, you can just remove it and re-glue it. It's not going to matter underneath your forks, honestly. Nobody's going to care what it looks like because you ain't going to see it. <laughs> yeah, we're starting to be a little bugger lately. It's just funny how everything will be really quiet, and then all of a sudden he'll just scream something, and I don't know why. It's the timing that's funny. Yeah. Probably yeah. not funny on your end, but... <laughs> Yesterday I tried watching a Christmas movie while I was wrapping gifts called The Christmas Prince. It was so good. I was watching it on Netflix. Do you think he would let me watch that movie? No. No. He did not. All right. I think I have them all glued. So I'm just going to leave them till they harden because I don't want to move them yet. <clears throat> and this fork here. Does it matter if any of them is shifted off the perfect stack? No. Okay. No, it won't. Some of them have a little bit. Yeah. They're going to do that until I get the top base glued on top here. Gotcha. But these are, some of them are still soft. So we'll just have a little chit chat. I don't want to pull them up and move them. No. Because these ones here will fall off. I want to get the top thing put on. So I need something for a filler in here. And I'm wondering what I could use. For just a filler. I could use probably use styrofoam or something. I does it have to be solid? Well, not solid solid, but I could use foam. Um but Carol is asking if the center is cardstock. It's cardstock and um chipboard. chipboard, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so wonder. I could just cut a whole bunch of pieces of these and just layer them on top of each other until it gets to be as tall as the forks. Okay, so that'll work. So let me just peel this off. Where is that foam? Yeah. Okay. It looked like paper at first. No, it's pink foam. I'm going to use these just for fills, to fill in around the fork. So when I put the next circle on, they, um, they all match up. So if they're overhanging, I'll just cut them off. But that was a good movie, The Christmas Prince. I'm not, I don't think I've seen it. So now it's a Netflix movie. And we're going to do one more. Or I think maybe three might be sufficient. There we go. Let me just have a look-see and see if three is actually sufficient, and it is. Okay. So now I'm going to have to do it to the next one underneath. I'm going to grab another pink piece, pink one. I'll put back. I'm going to go off here. Cut some pink pieces. I only need three, really. Get that other one. Probably put it back in the drawer with it. <laughs> okay. Did you get your shopping done? Me? That you had to go to yesterday? So I yeah. Did. So I'm just Good. going to put glue in here as part of my filler. Because I really don't want these to 
fall apart. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Now they my can't shift around. Yeah, my mom's never fell apart, so I never had that to worry about. She probably did the same thing. Did you ever watch her when she made them? My mom didn't make these. I did. Oh. I made them for my mom. Cool. Yeah. Sherry watched that movie. Johanna has seen it. They both said it's a nice movie. It is a good movie. Okay. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> stick. No, it's not that it's not melting quick enough for me to do this, but I do need a glue stick and it's glue's gonna harden on me. God, I hate these. Come on, glue gun. Melt. Take a lot of glue. Just saying. Pray that you get these in the right place. Now you want to hold them. Make your sandwich. Oh, there we go. Oh, I think that's perfect. This is actually, these are fans. Just so you know, that's what I mean. That scared me when the one underneath wasn't attached. <laughs> I can't get in there. I should have trimmed these before, so I'll just use my exacto knife. Screw it. Where are you? It's just how easy it is to trim. And I'm just going to set this one aside and work on the second one. But these are gorgeous fans when they are done. Look at that. Beautiful. Shiny. Yeah. So I'm going to... I'm not going to put the doily on just yet. <clears throat> A really thick doily. Because I want to put a layer of lace around that. So I'm just going to set this aside. Let it harden up. Uh, Clint said it looks like uh, the Statue of Liberty's crown, her hat. Really? Yeah. Good morning, Sandra. All right. So, hi, Sandra. I'm going to just round these off so I don't have to do that again. And I'm just going to snip these off. And I'm going to get them glued on. So the glue's already hardened. But that extra one on top it gives it a lot more um, stability. So. Yeah, and plus you were putting it in between them, too, so that's really going to do it. Yeah. There we go. Didn't have to worry about that now. So yesterday, I made special gifts for my garbage men and my mail carrier. I always do. But this is the first time I gave the garbage men that pick up our garbage every Wednesday a gift, and I made two gifts package for them and I turned the lids well Kevin turned the lids upside down and then I put tissue paper on top and I put their gift bag with all their gifts because there was a bunch in the gift bag all on, on inside of a big huge ziploc bag so they oh didn't my gosh. get garbage smell or anything in them and I zipped them up and 
Um, Did you get to see their faces when they came? Yes, I saw the guy when he was jumping off the, the garbage truck. He was, like, reading what I wrote because I wrote Merry Christmas to our garbage uh, collectors. I didn't put garbage men. And anyways, he grabbed them. He put them in the truck with a big smile. He put <laughs> There was two garbage cans because that's all we're allowed. He put the lids back on the garbage cans and he brought my garbage cans up to the front steps. I was Aww. like, that was the first time. So I opened up the door and I said, oh, thank you very much. And Merry Christmas. He said, thank you very much. And the smile on his face <laughs> was enough to, I don't know, even know how to explain I had it. to make your morning. It made me so happy. I know they're they're hardworking guys. I mean, I wouldn't yeah, have a dirty job that they do picking up all this trash and stuff. But anyway, uh, he looked like he was just overwhelmed with the big presents because there's lots inside of them, eh? I put even hot chocolate. I put my spoons and got a special box for the oh spoons. God. I gave them spoons. Um, you know, I just, I spoiled them and... I wish I could have seen their faces when they opened up the gifts, but that's something. But you know what, though? Years ago, like when we were kids, people always, the milkman, the garbage man, the mailman, they always gave them something. Yeah. But it's very rare anymore. And I, I bet those guys have never had anybody leave them anything. No. And like I said, for him to bring my garbage cans to my front sidewalk. He never done that. They're out on the road and they're <laughs> left there. Usually the lids are blown off of them if it's windy, yeah. right? You lose your lids. He put the lids on tight and he was smiling while he was walking up the driveway. He put them on the sidewalk. Was just like, He's going to oh. vacuum them and wash them down from now oh, on. Uh, he was probably just really happy to have got yeah. a gift. He wanted to and, do a favor back, yeah. Yeah, and I just thought that was priceless. Just to see his face. Oh, and you didn't get to see the other guy. I bet he was thrilled. Yep. I think he, because he's way high up in the truck, he would have saw those gifts because I had them wrapped really fancy. Every oh single gosh. thing inside was all wrapped in bowed and, and ribboned, and it was so cute. So, yeah. I bet the guy got in just like a big kid. Look what we got! Yes. <laughs> we got presents! Oh, I know. It was just, it was wonderful. It really, it was a good feeling. I remember at the time, it was about four years ago. Um, here, I don't know what you guys call um, people that go on welfare that need assistance from the city to help them, you know, every month because they yeah. can't work or something like that. And it was uh, December 24th and the radio they announced on the radio that day that um, the social assistance checks didn't make it in the mail, and all these mothers with these kids went without gifts, everything, because they they live off of that that check. Yes, month to month. And uh, this was before Jeff arrived, and my brother, my older brother, who lives with my sister Patsy. I asked him to help me watch Facebook because we have this group called Thunder Bay Buy and Sell kind of thing. Um, I went to Metro, which is our grocery store here. I bought five turkeys. I bought five bags of 10-pound uh, potatoes. I bought five loaves of bread, five bags of carrots, uh, five Christmas logs, you know, the decorative logs. I bought five dozen eggs. Um, what else was there? There was enough to feed five different families. So I went on to Thunder Bay Buy and Sell. And I said, um, it's my turn to give back to the community. And I posted in there that five people that have more than one child uh, message me. Because I'm, I took pictures of everything. And I said, because you're going to get this. And... There was another lady on there. I said, the only thing is, is I do not have time to deliver these packages to everyone. So you're going to have to pick them up. So another lady saw that message on Facebook. And she messaged me and she said, I would be honored to come to your house and pick all those up and deliver them to all these families for free. And she started crying. 
She just said, I couldn't believe there's people like you. And that's a lot of people wrote. One, the very first comment on that when I posted that uh, for the families, the very first comment on that was, I'm not in need of, of the, the food, but I just want to say something she said, something to regard that you have the biggest heart in the world for anyone that had to do that, that did that. So anyway this lady came we organized everything into packages i found five families one of them had five children and i thought wow that's a perfect you know because there was big turkeys too and my brother was watching facebook and he's like ruby i can't keep up with all these people on here i said anyway i chose the five people that had more than one child um I, it was not that i was nitpicking because they only had one child is because this was enough food to feed five starving kids as opposed to one so anyway i did that the lady came it was four o'clock in the afternoon she showed up everything was in my trunk of my cars went out with her we put everything in bags and she texted me to every single house she went to because i gave her all the addresses of the people that really needed this food and she texted me and she said this one lady was crying she she i mean i got a million thank yous from all of them and a lot of them were native families because you know they don't they didn't have jobs and i think most of them were all native families and i'm not a racist person so they they have hearts and souls and bleed the same blood and i can't stand racist people i'm sorry i just can't Anyway, um, I was so overwhelmed with that. So I had to go to the bank because I had to go drop something, some money into the bank. And um, one guy was standing outside the bank uh, uh, by the grocery store there with a little sign that said, please help me. I need to buy some gifts for my two boys. I walked over and I gave him a $100 bill. I said, go get your boy something. Then another guy messaged me on Facebook, said, I'm so sorry I missed out on your turkeys. And I mean, and he gave me this big story of what happened. So I said, come and pick up a check. I will write you a check for $150. And he came and he picked up a check. And I wrote him a check for $150. So that, that was my um, year. Oh, I call it pay it forward. I don't know what you guys call it, but I call it pay it forward. And um, God sees good. And to me, that was, I made people, I, I, if I could give all those people that didn't get their checks on Christmas Eve, which was the last day, I deliver mail, so I know they didn't come. Um, and it wasn't our fault. It was a glitch in the city system that didn't get these checks out to these these people that were waiting to buy gifts and food for their kids for Christmas and my heart just went out to them and that that's the first thing i could think of was i really didn't want to give anybody money i just wanted to give them the food that i know they could feed their children so it it was i i got so many thank yous and it was so overwhelming that i don't even know if i ever want to do it again because the the amount of tears that i shed that day and that next day from all these people telling me what how i how i impacted their lives and they'll never forget me and you know, it was just, it's its a long story I'm telling you this, but it's just something I, I was really proud of. My brother's like, and this is my older brother that lives with Patsy. They're the, actually, it's her twin. He was just like blown away with the amount of response of people that really needed the, the money or food. So anyway, I was, if I would have had more time that day, I would have went and bought a bunch of gifts and brought them to all those families that didn't have gifts for their kids. But... I didn't get to them in time. So I noticed this one here is a little bit out of whack here. So I think all I'm going to do is heat this up down here and just slide it over if I can. Hopefully I can do that. Because um, I want my, my things to be, you know, nice and kind of even inside so if I could just heat the glue up enough that I can move this yep there we go oh Sherry that's really sweet
Read what Sherry typed. That's really nice. Single, single, and people who wouldn't have Christmas with family two years in, in a row. It was an awesome feeling helping out. They truly appreciate it. Yes, I agree, Sherry. And these are the people that do truly appreciate what you do for them. And there are some people that are uh, not so, so appreciative, but uh, that's a very rare occurrence. Believe me, that's that's rare. And I'm telling you, what I did for those families. It, every single one of them uh, was really, really appreciative. So that was just very overwhelming. Um, and you know what? Five turkeys only costed me hundred and ten dollars. Yep, they're, they're not expensive. Not when they're when frozen and they're that. ninety-nine cents a pound, kind of thing. Yep. <clears throat> when you consider oh, how much food that is, that's cheap. Yeah. And as long as I know I was feeding some starving children or children that wouldn't have had a beautiful Christmas meal. And even one lady messaged me and said, you know, even though we didn't have all the gifts that my kids deserved, they had a beautiful meal. And that's all thanks to you, you know, and I'm telling you, I, I'm. You know what, Ruby, people that, that, you know, have to live check to check like that from the system. Yes. They wouldn't have been able to afford gifts and a meal regardless. They're no. lucky if they can pay their bills and stuff. So no. what you did, they wouldn't have had even with their check. No. I have Trust me on that. They would not have had even a third of that. No. They wouldn't. No. They'd be making the choice between having some food, good, you know, a fancy meal. Yeah. Or some little gifts, and if even that. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I, I thought it was... <clears throat> I thought it was uh, a good gesture, and uh, many other people did too. So I did a good deed. I paid it forward, <clears throat> as some would call it. I do that at the coffee shop too. I pay for the people's drinks, coffees that are behind me. I'm wondering how I could do this, if it will work, if I like it. I just don't have a whole lot of lace anymore. I got rid of everything. And all my lace is pretty flat. I don't have a lot of ruffled lace. And the rough lace I do have, I want for the top. <coughs> and it's this one here. Which will go across the tops of these spoons here. See? That's the only ruffled lace I have. But anyway. Figure this out. <clears throat> and I do have a serious tickle in my throat. And this is a so I'm not gonna use that. <clears throat> uh, where <clears throat> I don't think I have enough of this, but I do have enough of this one. I think I will just put this elastic one. The bottom start at the bottom and just put a little tiny layer of this all the way around with some pearls maybe <laughs> maybe we'll see too bad i don't have lots of this i really don't know <clears throat> i just know i have a really scratchy throat i don't like it oh good i have more of this I just got a, a tone from my Twitter account, and I looked to see what it was. Uh huh. Right after what the story you just said, in uh, Glasgow, Scot Scotland, their yeah. their main food bank got ra robbed last oh. night. How sad! Really? How sad! I knew, what you know? I'm sitting here working away, no glasses, nothing. <laughs> How can you? I can't see without my glasses. I can't see, and I'm struggling. <laughs> it's like really, especially with all the sparkle and shine going on there. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm gonna go around this. So it's gonna kind of hide. Underneath that, maybe, I think, this will work. Yeah, 
Yes, it will. <clears throat> so it's time to burn me fingers. No. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And this is the ribbon I got from Debbie. We're all sitting here wincing, <laughs> waiting for you to go, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do that. I don't think I have any hot gluing to do today. Let's hope. <laughs> any what? I this is enough on my hands. I don't want to add blisters to it, too. Well, why not? I have black and two colors of blue and white paint, black ink. So the red, I don't know, it might clash. There. From the burns. Okay, so I'm going to just trim this off now. And it's a good thing because there's a flaw right here, and I'm glad I ran out before I got to that flaw, which is in 90% of all ribbon. So I kind of like that. I finally got my email for my uh, gift certificate that I won for Joanne's. Oh, and really? It, yeah, they sent me the code. Creative Bug is the name of the company that I won it from. Wow, nice. All right, I need to put a wee bit of glue on here. Just to hold that down. Okay. No. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Drag my hand, finger across it. Ow, ow, ow. All right, that one's done. I'm going to set that one aside now and get this one done. Martha's here. Oh. Hi, Martha. Okay, so let me more of this out. Make oh, sure I want to. Not... Uh, Carol, it's, it's called Joanne's Fabrics. It's a like craft and fabric store we have here in the U.S. I want a fifty dollars yeah. certificate to spend there, in the store or online. Their <coughs> online store, kind of like our Michaels. Mhm. Mm I bought stuff from them. They stopped shipping to Canada last oh, September. Brother. A year ago, a year ago September, they stopped shipping to Canada. I was pissed because I bought a lot I just don't of even stuff. Understand. What? I just don't do it. That's a point of contention for all of us. You know, here in the U.S., we, we don't understand that. You know, why on earth they would stop shipping to Canada? Something just, to do with their damn warehouse. It was stupid. It reasoned the what she had told me, but they were moving warehouses and the company where the warehouse, their store is located, their warehouse, they did not ship to Canada. They refused to ship to Canada. Why they went with them? Because Canada was the, one of their biggest online buyers. Canadians. I wonder if it has anything to do also with that stupid, all the charges that everybody has to pay to ship things to Canada. Um, I don't think Joanne's was all that bad because I ordered all, all my uh, muslin fabric from them, 10 yards of it, when I made my stockings last year. I ordered That's all, what my, I did. Yep. all my stuff from Joanne's, and it was all shipped to me. Yeah, I got 50% off on a 10-yard bolt of muslin a couple of years yep. ago. Yeah. What well, you're that, making, Ruby? Hey, I'm making fans. Decorative, elegant fans. 
It looks like something you throw at people. Well, it won't look like that when I'm done, girl. <laughs> throw at people. American star. <laughs> Hello, everyone. That would be nasty mean. Can you imagine lobbing that? It is. It is kind of like a shuriken in a way. Yes. No, I wouldn't want to do that, guys. No. I was in there making a card and thought I'd come in and take a little break, and it's like, oh, my God. I'm outdoing myself on this one. You're outdoing yourself on this one? I'm making a tri-fold card with double shaker windows. Oh, yeah. Mm. Sounds pretty. Well, it's like I forgot about Polly and Linda's cards. It's like, oh, man. <laughs> she wanted, Polly wanted me to go shopping with her today. I've been waiting for her to call. It's like, no, I'm not going to go. I got things I got to do. And card making is one of them. Mm hmm At least you're, you're not decorating floor vents. I'm such a dork. <laughs> You're decorating floor vents? Yes. Oh, my goodness, woman. I can't just leave the floor vent. You know, just plain metal, silver. Is it in the floor or on the side of the wall by the floor? No, it's on the floor. Oh, my God. I've got a whole bunch of them. I'm not decorating them. <laughs> yeah, I can't just leave it, especially in my craft room. Oh, uh, yeah, I got it's locks, pretty. too. <laughs> Penny, you got to definitely post pictures of that. Uh, I have to agree. I agree with Martha. Yeah. The room is so small, though, that I can't, like, back up far enough to get a picture of, like, you know, the entire room so the vent would make sense. Because you'd have to see the carpet and the walls and everything to understand why I did it. But I, I don't know. I'll try. I'll do my best. Why. We don't need a why. It. We don't need a why. <laughs> we know why. We just want to see it done. How's that? <laughs> okay. I'm doing my light switch, too, to match. There you go. The switch plate. Dang, Sandra. I can't believe a Michaels will be closing. I'd choose Michaels what? over Hobby Lobby any day. What Michaels? What? Sandra says that a Michaels is closing. It's a, you know, a craft store. Yeah, I know what Michael's is, girl. The one in her town is closing, apparently. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. yeah. Nobody wants to lose a craft store that's close by. She's making a fan. Hmm. So, Sandra, where do you have to go now? Do you have other uh, craft supply places in town or near? Okay, April. Have a good time. Have a good holiday, too. Bye. Bye, April. Hi, April. Bye, Bye April. April. Have a good day, sweetie. Hobby Lobby's expensive, but they got everything in the world. I, almost. I refuse. I have never entered one. I will not. I've never ordered from them. I don't have local beading stores anymore. I've got two beading stores here in Flint. Thank God. Oh, my happy mail's in the mail. Yay! April, I love you. So sweet. Yes. Believe me, girl. I'm happy, happy, happy. She is very sweet. All right. Love that. Now, let me have a little look through here. Oh, do I want black back? Maybe I want black back. I like Happy Mail. Oh, my God. I'm so slack. And the garbage man ran this morning, and I forgot it was garbage day, and I just got all my garbage sitting right here. It's like, oh, my God. Tell her your garbage man story. 
You missed out on some good stories this morning. She can listen to the video. I wouldn't want to go through all that explaining again. She has two happy garbage guys this morning, that's yes. for sure. Uh -huh. They even treated my garbage cans with respect. Wow. And they brought them to her door. You put a bomb in them? <laughs> no. What time did you come on? Uh, 10 o'clock ish. I think I've been in there since 9 30. When I sent you guys all the links. I don't know. Let me look, see what time that was. Uh, 9 18. Okay. Oh, where am I at? Hang on. Well, I didn't come on until after, though, because I still I just made the hangout and all that, but I still had to gather all my stuff I needed to make. And where did you get this little idea? I made these many, 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 many years ago. Oh, yeah? Yes, many, many. Okay, so that's it for this one so far. What do you guys think? Snifty. It's hard to see with that bright light on. There we go. How's that? So we'll set that one aside. We'll do this base here. <clears throat> so I've got all this to put on. Oh, I forgot to put my doily in here. <clears throat> Ooh, it's going to look pretty, pretty, pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And then all flowers will sit in here. An array of flowers. Hey, Ruby, are we getting you in trouble by mentioning the names of stores? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. Well, you know, the play, the, the company that shall not be named, well, I, I never name. did know anything about why people aren't allowed to say that anymore on YouTube. I don't even know myself, Penny, so I couldn't tell you. I have no clue. I nice. just noticed somebody referring to it as what I just said, and I'm like, huh? <laughs> All right. How's that? Have a good day, Sandra. Bye, Sandra. They're plastic, Carol. They're plastic forks. So you yeah, can choose God, any they color. Look, they look so real in the, t in the computer. They look real? No, they're plastic forks. They're I got them from the buck store. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Did I have a lot of extra forks? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's glue this down now. Kind of cool. You put like 12 of them on there and make you a little clock. You can make whatever you want with this. They're... Hang on, someone's here. I'll be right back. Chop. No, man. Oh, I was up at four, so no, of course I'm getting a headache. Because that's what you get for getting up too early. Did you eat today? I did. I had some egg whites earlier, about four hours ago. And I'm having coffee, so there's really no reason for a headache. Go ahead. Oh, I guess it's um it's some sort of fan that um it's a last minute Christmas gift and all she described it as was um an elegant Christmas gift, last minute Christmas gift. So I guess we're gonna have to watch it progress because I think I've seen these before years ago, but I'm not sure yet. Must have something to do with ribbon weaving in and out of them forks. I don't know. She said it makes fans. Oh, Johanna. Yeah, I got my nice, big, fluffy fleece shirt on. It's cold outside. 
wonder what the temp is here today. Uh, I didn't even watch the weather channel today. It's like I don't care at the moment. 20. That's not too bad. It's always the same temperature in the house regardless of what it is outside. So. Mm-hmm. Well, Polly, she is not an early bird by any means. Who? I don't. My girlfriend, she wants me to go shopping. I told her, yeah, the other day. And it's like, I have nothing to shop for because I went out and I finally, I found her some more um, tablecloths or placemats. Then uh, it's like, I got all my shopping done. I got my dad's present mailed out what cards I made mailed out, but poor Ruby, oh my God, she is not getting it for Christmas. I just, I'm stumped on her little project again, but she will get it as soon as I can get it done. Oh, I'm sure she, that won't matter. She'll be happy either way. Yep, and I would like to see it now, okay? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope, 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 and it's sitting right there. Right well, there. I can't see it. I know. Well, I want to. So does everyone else want to see it, Martha? No. How can I I'm try perfectly and fine it? with waiting until it's finished. And, and I, then... I'm not fine with waiting. So can I show? Can you show me it? Now? <laughs> <laughs> Stop being a try all you want to, oh, sweetheart. I am God. not letting no. up. Oh, Martha. Oh, pumpkin. Oh, my fan. <laughs> <laughs> So when I made these years ago, I didn't make them this fancy around here. So this is something new for me, and I think it looks kind of gorgeous. Miss, gorgeous. Like and it wasn't right you're Miss Bling now? What? You have you're Miss Bling now with everything. So oh shit! Don't you even worry about that girl, because there'll be bling on this. <laughs> you know there will. Yeah, and Margaret, she's such a sweet, sweet lady. I love her to death my daughter's mother-in-law to be oh that's awesome this is her christmas present and she does crafts too and um i think she's going to adore these and i did them in pink and white but i don't know what colors she has for living room bedroom bathroom whatever you can put these anywhere my mom always had them hanging in the living room and when they got old and raggedy like 10 years old because i made these quite a few of these I made myself at one time in my life, my living room was all blue and white, and I made myself blue and white ones, and my mom had purple, all purples, and she always hung them in the living room and in her bedroom. I had to make a set for her bedroom, too. Mm -hmm. You know, there was no getting around it. Where is that other stuff? Right here. And this here is... I like that one. Making her one. two of them. You, you make a set because when you hang them on the wall, I'll show you in a second. When you hang them on the wall, you hang them off set. So I'll show you in a sec what I mean. My, my, you never hang them straight. You never hang fans straight. Right. You always hang I got on the wall, which is home interior off set. Yeah. yeah. You hang them. One goes this way and the other one goes the other way. Yeah. Right. So when my bow and everything that I put the the ribbons that hang down, they'll be offset. They won't be in the middle here. You'll see when I'm done this. All right, work on then. Work on. Yeah, you know, yeah. I just love Margaret, and I don't even know, guys, how I even forgot to get her a Christmas present. And to be honest with you, I really don't know what to buy her. So, cause I don't live with her and I asked Cassie and she's like, mom, I don't know. I said, well, you live with them. She goes, she'll like anything. Just get her a gift card. And I'm thinking, no, I want to make something more personal than the freaking gift card. So this is what I'm doing for her. Hi, Jada. Hi, Jada. Yep, so I got a piece of glue string. That's the thing, though, with these freaking silver things is every little glue string sticks to the metal. Plastic, I mean. No. 
get off. And they always fall where I don't want them to be. I've got to be careful with these damn glue strings. Yeah, it's not like you can take the heat gun to melt them off either. Cause it's I tried it. It doesn't work. No, I wouldn't, do it. I wouldn't even try it. <laughs> well, that one's kind of right melted in it. So, all right. You're going to give me a hard time. You, know. you can pick it off once it sets up real good. Yeah. Yeah. I think I need food. I do too. I'm actually kind of hungry. But my belly just starts growling. All right. So we'll try to better call there. the house. We'll push that up and push it down. There we go. So, so I still have a little bit left. Now I want to put my pro trim on this as well. Has everybody got their shopping all done for Christmas? I'm done. Gifts are wrapped. Everything's under the tree. My poor Charlie Brown tree. Gosh, I'm in so embarrassed. My wrapping done. I've hide, hid it completely with cards. That's something I got to do today too. Is wrap my presents. Oh. I still got stuff in the car. I got to get out. Yeah, my daughter has not wrapped any of her kids' stuff. She's lots of wrapping to do. I've got everybody's wrapped. I got all the gift exchange gifts done. Everything's wrapped. Well, you're just right up on it. I am so slacking this year. Yesterday I was so scared because I I knew I had I was overwhelmed. I was like, I have way too much to do, and I don't want to do it. I want to craft. I know all day yesterday it's like, okay, Ruby's coming on. I know she's going to come on, but she never came on. Nope, I did not yesterday. I, I, I'm glad I didn't because I got everything that I needed to get done, done, except for my Christmas cleaning, which I will do on Sunday because my Christmas dinner is on Mondays. That's the only thing. And I, when I Christmas clean, I go all out. Play music and Christmas playing. Oh no. Ah, that's her. I know it is. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, and Kevin corrected me. Ace will be a year old on Saturday. So I was wrong. He is already almost a year old. Hard to believe, but he is. Mm. Okay. He's so cute. Who was the neighbors? You missed a cute wiggle butt this morning. Come on, blue strings. Piss off. That one's going to bother me. I'm going to try and wipe it. Yep, it worked. So that means this will work too. And it worked. I'm happy. Okay. Now let's glue our little doily in. Oops. Hi, hmm. Joyce. Oh, that's pretty. I love how it cups like that. So that means the flowers will look gorgeous in there. So I'm just going to do some. Hmm. 
Okay. I'm just blowing on the other one. All right. That's done. Now we need to get some real fun going here. Um, thinking I might use this as a base. This beautiful ribbon from Debbie. I don't know how much I'll need, so I do have two fans to go. Okay. Was that sticky? No, it's like a, a facing. Um, the iron on, isn't it? Yeah, but I won't be ironing it. And I like it because it's easier to manipulate without that piece on it. So basically, I'm just using this for a base. So let me get everything else out of my way so I have room on my table to turn this as I glue it. Okay. And you guys need to see. So you can put your glue on the forks itself. Which way is the right way? I don't think that even really matters. Oh, I can like this way. All right, and I'm going to leave a little bit of an overhang. Okay. And this is why you need a gluing mat. So this is going to basically be my base where I'm going to layer my ribbon laces on here and my pearls and whatever, whatever else I put on it. This is interesting. Yeah. That's lame, isn't it? What's that? That's this fabric. is stretchy. It's stretchy if you remove that backing off it. And I love that because it curves with the foils. I think it's a lame. It looks like it. Just absolutely gorgeous. Johanna says it's beautiful, Ruby. Thanks, Johanna. Yeah, I'm really extremely low on lace, guys. I don't have a lot. Whoops, my cord just got knocked out. I don't have a lot of laces anymore because I got rid of them all. And you need to get lost before you get glued. Okay. Can you guys see me okay? Yeah. Yep. Look at how pretty. It's gorgeous. One more. Okay, and we will just trim it off about here. I don't think I have enough to do the next fan. So there's that. And that looks beautiful. Get rid of my glue strings. Now you will flip it over and you will glue this piece over like I this. Stuck her in on the back like that okay see cleans up your edge and nobody really looks at the back of this well i would certainly hope that no one would come take something off your wall just so like looking at the back i see the back how you did that <laughs> yeah all right 
So I'm wondering if this is going to be big enough for me to do my next one, or do I got to cut a new piece? And it's oh. stretch it out. I'll sit that one up there and bring this one back. And let's get this one done. There's really no right or wrong side to this. Just saying. Uh oh. Look who's here. Trouble. Hello, Betsy. My sister. Your sister's here. She knows what these are. She's seen these. Actually, I'm going to do it from this side. Okay. Mom always had these eight pats. Hey, this fork is crooked. I didn't fix this one or. Oh, darn it. You don't want to break it. So I'm going to heat it up. Because it's not even. Now let's see if I can. Oh, Patsy must have found out she was on the naughty list, huh? <laughs> That'll be good today. Uh <laughs> Well, that's no fun, Patsy. <laughs> Ow. What? There we go. I'm going to just hold it. To what? Show it who's boss. What if you put a glob of, of glue under it on its right side and held it there? Would that help it stay? Mm, probably not. No. I don't know. Let me try this. Maybe heating it up more. Wedge a I piece of foam and glue it in there. There we go. More tea, oh. more tea. I want it to be even. And I don't want it to pull on the other one, so. Patsy says she's going to be a good girl. I said, well, that's no fun. She goes, I know, it'll be boring being a good girl. <laughs> Sorry, sister, but you have to be. She really needs to get on this panel. I'm serious. Oh my god, that'd be fun. Yeah. Oh, that's that looks way better, Ruby. Yeah. That fixed it. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So I'm quite happy. Jeez. How that moved. So Oh, she's happy you do, Patsy. That's pretty obvious. What? She said, I just love bugging my sister. Yeah, I know she does. And I bug her. You love it, too. <laughs> I bug her right back. She said, I love Ruby with all my heart. <laughs> I know she does. Oh my god, please tell me I'm not going to run out of ribbon. We have been trying to stretch it. Ow! Hi, Nikan. Hi, Nikan. That ribbon looks so fun to work with. It Oops. just does. It stretch, is. Stretch, stretch, stretch. It Gorgeous. looks fun to play with. Gorgeous. I want to play with it. Okay. Stretch, stretch, stretch. 
Is that you typing, Martha? Yes, it's Martha. She's loud. Yeah, my nails. <laughs> it sounds like you're typing with a sledgehammer. We can't actually see your arms moving, just hear the sound. <laughs> Do reindeer. Reindeer head. Reindeer head. <laughs> It's so cute. <laughs> ah, wait a minute. What's what's the dog's name? Oh, what is his name from the Grinch? Yeah. What's his name? Going the wrong way. Does he even yeah, have a name? The other night too. Does he have a name? Yeah. He yeah. Does. What I is it? Don't remember it offhand. But I know who you're talking about. No, oh, I spelt that wrong. Sibling. Forget the M in there. Okay. What is his name? name? What the heck? Let me see. I don't remember. It's Max. Yeah, that's it. Yes, it's Max. I just had to Google it because I don't remember him ever saying a name for him. Yes, he did. He did say it in the movie. That's funny. I just watched it the other night. I think Jim Carrey did that just perfect. Oh, well, that was oh, God, an yeah. awesome movie. Freaking awesome. But I have to admit, I like the original cartoon from when I was a kid. Yeah. This it cracks me up a still. Lot of lace. I may have to stop this video and run to Walmart and get some lace. Because I don't have enough of anything to do. He has a twin? Yeah, my brother. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that either. Yeah, this isn't even big enough to go all the way around. Nothing I have is. Seriously. Do, do they have any at the dollar store? No. The stuff they have the buck stores junk. This here is one of the laces I made my mom's family. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, and pink. I and would say that for something special, though, for. Well, there's not enough to do two fans. Oh, my God. That's gorgeous, pink. though. I may have to stop and go shopping for lace. I'm going to find some with some little violets on it. If you ever see any lace that has violets, like little violet flowers, let me know. Oh, that would look so pretty in this room, too. Of these two, I was thinking of cutting and putting one oh. there, one there, one there, and there's enough to do that. I love this mint green color too. Oh my god. Yeah. Especially with the silver, those two. Oh yeah. Well, guys, I may have to stop because all my lace here that I'm looking at will not fit around both fans. This this will fit one fan, and I don't have any more. I'll just mm -hmm. come back later on. That way, you can have something to eat. Yeah. Look, that would have looked gorgeous on there. Gives us something to look forward to. Yep. There's <laughs> just not enough. Not even this. And I love this. I had so much of this. Where is it all? I know darn it well I didn't use it. Oh, I like that one on by your right hand, too. That's beautiful with the pearls in it. Mm. That's gorgeous. Yes, it is. That would look gorgeous going all the way around. Like yes, that. it would. But I don't That's have enough. Can't. Yeah, when when you get one that you really like. I don't have enough. Yeah, and a lot of times the store will only carry it like each year they change. So yes. it's impossible to get the same kind of lace twice. Look at how pretty that would have been on there. Oh, so, especially with the doily. 
this would have looked gorgeous on the top of it going this way because then you fill in all the middle with other laces look at what that would have looked like oh my god yeah i have enough for one fan maybe she can only get one fan finish the other one how pretty so you're not supposed to see the forks. Do you know what color she has in her house? Have you been there? Well, I just finished saying that. I have no clue. I wish this was longer. I know I have two pieces of this. And I could join it together. Just make one fan. And make the other one different, I guess, for someone else. Um, where is it? Right here. So I know I have enough to do this one. So I would take this off first, put this down first, and there's the right side. And this would go here first. Don't forget the thumb up. Okay. Put it here first. And oh, then it's going like a gypsy wagon wheel. And then you finish it. I could just join it here. Nobody's even going to see that join. Or do it lower. And then put the pearl on top. And put this layer on. I like that. That's pretty. I'm just laying it all here. Just checking it all out. Seeing how I want all of this. Okay. And, um, oh, hi, Clint. Bye, Clint. Hi, Clint. I'm not going to put purple in it. Maybe I'll put this on top. There's another layer of lace. Look at this. Wow. Put a layer under the fringes, too. Oh, no. Not under the fringe. Why not? It'll show through. See it. No, not the fancy stuff like that. No. Look. There. Then take, where is it? Some gingham, especially pink gingham. Run that through the center of these. Maybe I'll just make one fan for now. Ooh. Okay. And where's that package? Let's see how far these go. I don't know. If they'll fit all the way around. Oh yeah, they will. Easily, yeah. Yep. And then trim the center. Let's start here. And trim the center with these. See, shabby chic is layer after layer after layer. Or maybe I'll go down. No. Yeah, I was going to say, go down towards the center. That'd be really pretty. You no, could even no. wrap those around, like weave them. Yes, not at all. I'm thinking maybe I can do this. Actually, I'm going to get rid of the gingham first because that's too skinny. Let me put a layer of this ruffle kind of ribbon. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this has to go here. And to have enough for both of them. Mm. No, I don't. I would. That's what I said. I, I can only make her one fan. Okay. And then, then, another layer of this stuff. Oh, no, there's not enough. You dirty God. That's okay. Johanna is asking if that lace will um, all stand up once it's hanging on the wall. This here will all droop down just beautifully. So I think this would look really pretty with that in there. And then this pink beaded metal, it's like metallic, as running through the center of this. Look at how gorgeous that's going to look. Tell Patsy who you're know. making that for. Yeah. What? Tell Patsy who you're making that for. It's for Margaret. 
I wanted to make her two, but I know if I go to Walmart, they're not going to have ruffle trim. I don't think they will. Well, you got a dollar store that's got everything. She was just there, though. Hey, uh, yeah, I'd call ahead to Walmart. Yeah. Before I even bother, unless it's really close to the house, but I wouldn't waste the trip. I'd call there first. Yeah. Well, you have any kind of fabric store that just specializes in fabric? Yes, but they're expensive. Well, that's true, but you're not really buying that much lace. Okay, and I do have this stuff that I wanted to put down. It's just, I don't know how to get it. I don't mind it. I would hang all of these. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I thought of this now, too. See? If I just dig, I'll find Putting this on first, on top of this, and then putting the pink on top of that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. This is all my layers, how I want to do it. I'm going to put feathers in this. Um, the only thing is this is not going to stay, so I have to kind of move it out of the way. But I really wanted to group some of these. I wonder if I should use purple this is the purple is gorgeous called jewels jeweled birds garland 899 I don't even remember where I got this Ashland don't remember so one there's the middle one so we'll put one in the middle. So let me just cut one. So we will hang one down in the middle. And one on each side. So we'll hang one down from here, one here, and two more. That's all I can put down. And we will put them on one, two, three, four. Mm. Patsy said, fabric land moved way up in PA, sis. They did? They can stay there because I'm not moving. Or moving. I'm not going there then. Wow. Why would they move there? One, two. The only place would be good would be here. So, hmm. Around it and put it on top of the circle part. It's not a droop in the middle of that. Um, one, two. One, two. One, two, one here. And one, two, and we can put one on each end. I could do that. Ah, forget these. I've changed my mind. Change my mind. Forget it. Okay, so I'll remove it. And then this one top. Yes. Right, so we'll put this pink satin ribbon on top. And then we will put a layer of skinny white one on top of that. No, but I'm not. Okay. And then on top of this one, I will put this white one, okay, like that, and then this on top of that. Oh, yeah. And this on top of here. Like that. So it's going to have layers. It's got to have layers. Lots of layers. Yes. 
Okay, so there's my fan. That's going to be my first and my only one I can do. Uh, the gingham. I'm not sure what I want to do with the gingham. If I had enough, I would outline it twice with the gingham. The only thing I have the most of is this damn teeny tiny rickrack. And oh dear lord, I don't want to be dealing with this teeny tiny rickrack. So little. So, so little. La 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 boom yay. La 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 boom yay. I mean, it's tiny. <laughs> tiny rickrack, but it is really pretty. None of your daughters or anybody has some lace that you could borrow? Oh, no. They all craft. I could put it up like that. I might do that, yeah, because there's that piece. I know there's another piece. So if I have to join them, that's okay, as long as I have enough. And I know there's another one somewhere because I have three pieces of this. So we'll just we'll just really go all out on this one. So we're not using this, or are we? We can. This actually can go in behind this on the very tip so it sticks out. Yep, so I'm going to use that. Um, oh my god, I get to use these then. And I get to use these. Ooh. I get to put a lot of stuff because I don't have enough to do two fans. So, oh, look, I have enough to put one on each fork. Sweet. I have enough. And Perfect. I'm happy. I'm so excited. And... Where is that other piece of Ricky Rack? Right here. Here it is. Another piece. So I have enough to go across the bottom, across the top, and outline. So this little bit of pink Rick Rack. And it's like a baby pink. Look, it's a nice big piece. So I have plenty of Rick Rack. So we need that. We need that. We're not going to use these pearls because they just don't do it. I like those on Christmas trees. Yes. Those pearls. So many pretty, pretty flowers that I want to put. Oh, look, at I've got all these pink flowers and bows and fun stuff. Okay, I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Oh, and you know what else I'm going to use? I'm excited. I'm using this pink and white eyelash. This is what I really want to use. Don't not look at it. Look at this pink and white eyelash. Oh, isn't this pretty? So satiny. Yes, it's very satiny. So I want to have enough that I can tie my bow with this. Um, what else do I want to put on this? I think I don't want to overkill it. Patsy more. The more, the merrier. Patsy said, Ruby, Ruby, you should have I kept saw all your lace. I know I saw it, but I ignored it. Uh, I know I kicked my ass now, sister. It's a little too late for that. Hallelujah. Uh, I might even have enough to put around here. Hang on. Just for halfway around, I might have enough to go around that. Oh, I wish I would have pulled it out. She also says that they have the eyelash ribbon at the dollar store. I know, but they don't have the colors that I like. They, their stuff is not what I like. Sorry. It's just not what I like. Oh, I love those pink flowers with the little sprays. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm going to cut them apart, and I'm going to space oh. them around here evenly. Um, there's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. There's six pieces. So if I just trim them apart and space them evenly around here, 
That'll look really pretty. Actually, I, I really think it should just go across the bottom like that, to be honest with you. Yeah, because it's covering up all the stuff you already did. Yes, I don't want to completely hide all of this because there's going to be all flowers in here. And then there'll be ribbon hanging off. So if I offset it this way, like that. Yeah, and plus you have those pretty little pearls already on there. Yes, and look at these. I absolutely mm. love this. I love pearls. I love this pearl trim. And I'm thinking I might put that right across the lower bottom of it so that way I know for a fact I will have enough to go all the way around the bottom so that's gonna work out perfect Patsy's yelling no no to what Patsy the pink flowers she says no to everything till it's done and then she'll say okay I'll shut up now and I do have lots of pink marabou flowers, or marabou feathers. I dug them out. Look at these. I hope this lady has pink in, in one of her rooms. <laughs> her bathroom, I don't care. She, uh, she, it's an old, old, old country home, so, yeah. They live out in the country, so... Look at the pink marabou I've got. I've got enough to make hers for sure. She says no pink flowers. Yeah. I don't listen to Patsy. I still just do what I want. She knows that. <laughs> These have to be the world's softest feathers in the world. These duck marabou. There. We got these pink ones. I bought these. See, these were always a free gift from Jenny's Craft Boutique. And she gave me a gift of 20 marabou feathers. All the time when I ordered from her. Because I always had big orders at one time. Darling. So beautiful. So I'm just going to kind of... Oh, cut this top off so I can sit the feathers in there and I'll be using these as well in my stuff today okay and there's one all by its little self in here in there all right she says she loves the pink flowers but not halfway yeah I know Oh, you mean these? Yeah, I'm going to put them all the way around, but I'm going to just cut them out of this and glue them in here, I think. Wait. Wait, guys. Just wait. Just wait. We might have enough now. Yep, we do. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I love that. And then you fill it all in with the paper flowers and these other flowers I have. Yeah, I think I'm liking that. So sister, eat your heart out. So that is the layers of that. Oh, you thought you were only going to do it on half a circle. Okay. Yeah. No, sister. No. And look at these bouquets I'm even thinking I might just use the whole entire bouquet and not even pull it apart in the centers of here no doily the doily's hidden that I'm not going to completely hide it whichever one I like I might use but I like the fact that it's got every color in there yeah they're all pinks they get paler as they go around and then white. And daisies are always so beautiful. I love daisies. It's one of my favorite flowers. Whoops. I am supposed to pull these apart, but I kind of like them clustered like that. Kind of like that. Something in the middle of that. I do have lots of flowers. 
I'm going to even stick one of these butterflies on here. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I like to use two, but see, I've got all of these. I'm going to put them around on the actual thing. Okay, so I wrecked that one, and that's the one I want to use. I don't want to completely hide my doily. So I kind of like that, and I'll trim that off and glue that in. What do you guys think of that center? I'll be using these in the odd place on my actual fan, so all my flowers will match. Now I have these ones. I even have dark pink roses. I could fill that all in with roses instead of these. I could put a dark one, blue one, and then just make a cluster of them in the center here and just change up the colors. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I even got teeny tiny ones too. Little mm -hmm. roses. I kind of like the roses better, but daisies are pretty too. What do you guys think? The daisies or go with roses? Daisies. Roses! Come on, guys, help me. The colored ones, I, I think that means the daisies. I'm backing out so you guys can see my fan. We're working on it. We have three daisies, people. Okay, Pat's the only one saying daisies. Sue said I daisies. Medea said roses. <laughs> Martha said roses. She yelled it. Barbara says Daisy. It's a tie still. Hi, Medea, sweetie. I got the cutest message from Medea yesterday, guys. She made my day. She absolutely, absolutely loves Mr. and Mrs. Snowman Claus. <laughs> I am not. There are other saying Daisy. Patsy, you typed it three times. <laughs> Don't even lie to me. <laughs> okay. Daisy when we again. get when we get to this position. Oh, I love this stuff. Where am I gonna put this? I just have to use this. Okay. And I love the fact that I can cut these apart and put one on each one of these forks. Oh, oh where's Angela? Oh, I could even put one of those in the middle. Don't worry, guys. I got to put bling on here, too. Got to leave room for bling. We need to bling this up. So. Now, I need to do this and this. So I don't forget what I was going to do. So I'm just going to glue all of these layers together so I know what I'm doing. When it comes time to, to glue these down, well, I don't forget because I have some timers. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. All right. And then we'll glue this one. So it's going to be this many layers. Right? So all of that. Is Martha naked? I see her shirt sitting on the chair. <laughs> oh Did God. she strip? I would hope she's not naked. Uh, well, her shirt's there on the chair. That's my blanket. It looks like your, your fleece shirt. Okay, so it'll be that. And then we're going to glue these on. We're just going to put a wee bit of glue because these don't take a lot of glue. And we will start with that and that. And that will be how we're going to do the center with all of these layers. Now I can remove them. Okay, see? That's how that's going to be. But before I fold this over on the spoon, 
I will remove these because I don't want all of this bulkness on the back. So there we go. That's that. Jada, tell her to go to an emergency animal hospital. They will work on a sliding scale or she can do payments, whatever, but she's just going to have to get them there or her. No. We are going to do this and this and this. So let me just remove that for now and it can go up there because I want to put this up first and I want the right side. Okay. So let's start with gluing our first layer. Just tell her to go there. It's emergency. You just yeah, go but some don't. vets... Some vets don't care if it's an emergency. They don't take payments. No, it's an emergency vet. That's what I'm saying. An actual emergency place like we have for people. No, I'm just saying emergency vet. They don't take payments. Well, if they've got an animal with an emergency. They kind of not going to sit there and watch it die with all of their customers sitting there looking. They're going to want you to pay and they're done. After. Yeah. Just saying, my vet will not do anything unless you have the money. Oh, yeah. If you go, yeah, if you go for a... Yeah, they don't let you do panel pens. Lots of vets got out of that because they were being um, ripped off. Not ripped off, just no, having a hard time collecting the money from people. Yeah. That's well, no. the same as human emergency rooms. Yeah. Well, not here, but I know in the States, it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have an emergency animal hospital here not far away, and they'll treat you right away. They'll take the puppy in right away or a cat or whatever. And they don't expect you to pay right away? No, you can make payments. When I, when we had to have my dog put to sleep, um, we had him cremated and stuff, and they just let us pay the other half when the ashes came in. Oh, okay. It was an emergency, euthan euthanized. It was emergency. He had to be. It was bad. It was pretty mm -hmm. horrifying. All right, now, as you can see, it's puckering and I don't like it, so we will fix that. Whoa, what was that? Martha's TV, probably. I don't think so. It's maybe an airplane? Not here. Wasn't here. Yeah, not here either. Whoa. Sound like a yeah, an airplane or something went over him. Yeah, it did sound like an airplane. It could have been one flying over Martha. Yeah, it was mine. You have a plane? By the airport. <laughs> yeah, we I live by the airport too, or not by it, but not far from it. All right, so I got to snip these. Okay, I got one more panel made. So they lay flat, like that, and we need to snip this one, because I do not want this puckering. Oh, I like that trim. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. See how much easier it is to lay flat, and I still have to tack. Well, I don't even have to tack this down because it'll get tacked down with the next layer of glue. But I didn't like it how it was puckering on me, so that's how you fix it. Kind of looks like it's a fringe now. It's laying nice and flat. 
Perfect. Perfect. So perfect. So perfect. Why are you stuck here? Okay. Now I'm going to tuck this down a wee bit with the glue. Just yeah, you get them get the heavy, heavy like military planes that carry stuff, you know, the cargo planes. You better make sure Bye, your Johanna. crystals are not touching each other. They will just rattle. Same <laughs> to you, Johanna. Bye, Johanna. Bye, Johanna. Mary, ho, ho, ho. One of my other friends from the bar gave me a present. It's got a little rattle. I said, I'm not opening it up till Christmas. Aww. And I teased her. I said, well, at least it's not Kahlua. And she started laughing. And she teased me last year. She said, Kahlua. And she had a stroke or something. It's hard for her to think and talk and all that stuff. And um, it was like three big things of hot cocoa mixes. And I really thought she gave me a bottle of Kahlua, man. I was like, tickle purple. Okay, so there's our first layer. Now our next layer is going to be this, but I want it to just come below this one here so you can still see my trimming on the outside of it. Oh, Barbara, put some ice on it, honey. Mm -hmm. She fell down two days ago and broke her big toe. Oh, God, ow. Yeah, Gosh. you're supposed to be icing that. For like 10, 15 minutes. And I'd then be icing it. Skip it. And then go back to doing it again. So could, is it sprained or oh, it's broken? Broken. Yeah. Did they set it or are they just... Ouch. Usually with toes they don't do anything. No, nope, they, can, they can't do anything for broken toes. They can put a little brace on it. That's about it. On the big toe. Yeah, that's all they can do. I broke my little toe when I was younger running up the stairs. And every now and then, man, that sucker, I'll hit it just right and it'll just go. So you got to sit there and pop it back in. I had to do it only once, but I'm not going to tell you where I was when I had to do that because you all think I'm weird. <laughs> oh. Oh. Which I'm not. I just went for to see what it was all about. And... Bungee jumping? No, nudist colony. Oh. Why is that weird? Lots of people those. It was some, it was like down in Ann Arbor, some big old mosh pit. But we were on the way farthest end of it. And all these people are walking through the woods, coming back just totally brown. They found a big old mud bog. So they go in there and lounge around in the mud and come back and jump into the, it was a spring fed, I don't know what the hell you call it pit or whatever but it was interesting of course I didn't go all the way nude you know but <laughs> oh, well lots of people live on nudist colonies so Barbara just put your foot in cold water with just a couple ice cubes and you don't you don't have to use direct ice And keep your leg, your foot elevated above your heart, or it will keep swelling up. That's why it hurts so bad, is all that blood pressure. Yeah. Medea, she is making that for her future mother, step, 
for no, my daughter's mother-in-law, my daughter's future mother-in-law for her Christmas present. And I thought it would make an elegant little last minute Christmas gift. It's just a fan made out of forks. <laughs> and Margaret will get a kick out of this because she loves crafting stuff. So all I'm going to do after is glue these ones that are flopping. I'm just going to just give them a touch of glue and just push them up so that you can see them. See? Yeah, the that's nice. Mm -hmm. If I just leave it like that, they're drooping backwards, and it's because I had to cut them. So I'll fix that. Not a problem. Easy to fix. So we are going to be going through a lot of glue sticks again. But it's worth it. Did you go to the doctor, Barbara? Let's say if she went to the doctor, they would have told her to stay yeah. off of it. Stay off of it. She's done cleaning house for a whole week. <laughs> And they probably would have given given her some pain medication or, you know, something for the swelling. Because otherwise it might be just a bad sprain if you didn't go have it x-rayed, which is hurts worse than a break, actually. Yeah. You're better off breaking it than you are spraining it bad enough. Yep. I'll never forget the time I sprained my foot. <sighs> Patsy was with me. I did it at, um, um... The park with the kids. I was stepping down the stairs and lost my balance and twisted my foot when I was going down the stairs. And you can imagine the next day I was in so much pain. I phoned my mom. I was bawling. I couldn't stand the pain. And she came over with her crutches, her old crutches. And I was said, well, I don't need pain medication. It's just going to go away. And I phoned my ex at the time at work. And I said, you're going to have to go fill that prescription right now before I go out of my mind. The pain was so excruciating beyond even dealing with it. I couldn't deal with the pain, and I can tolerate a lot of pain, but not I couldn't tolerate that any longer. So there's my real actual first layer. So again, I'm going to just pull these back, and I'm just going to drop a little bit of glue on these, just enough to push them up. And just let them free fall nicely like that. See? See? Nice. Like yes. I like it. Yeah, I love it. Kelly like Armstrong it. said, Ruby, you should be getting happy mail soon. Enjoy. Oh, Kelly. All these people that are sending me happy mail. I am so excited. She's got laces in it. She needs lace. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of lace. You can tell. Mind you, this stuff is really cheap on, um, what's it called? Um, AliExpress. Should probably go get some. Okay, so I don't want to lose my shape. I'm just carefully doing it. Very careful. Food. I got glue strings from here to Ying Yang. So, I mean, this one's probably going to stay, but we'll just give it glue. Because I mean, that sounds like a personal problem, having glue on your Ying Yang. Yeah, early. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't sound very comfortable. I do have glue from here to Ying Yang. And glue strings everywhere going across my wire on my video camera, on my stand, all it's all everywhere. It's all over my glue gun stand, all over me, it's all over my table. It's just it feels like cobwebs. It really does. This is so so pretty. All right. I've got four more to do. One more to just touch them with glue. I don't. You don't need a lot of glue just to kind of hold them like that. 
How cute is that? So now our next layer was the the fancy schmancy. Fancy schmancy. Yes. So this is going to be my next layer. All the way around here like that. So we'll put this on now. I gotta order me some uh, nesting rectangles. Oh I yeah, I had some, but I don't have any. Okay, and I'm trying not to burn my fingers, so let's just. Oh, I like that lace with the fringe on it. That's really pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of it, but I have another piece, and I can just join it. The nesting dies that I get, that set that I got uh, of circles from AliExpress. Remember, we were talking about they probably aren't like the expensive ones, you know, where there's like a billion sizes. I just got them last week, or not even last week. I think it was on Saturday. Anyway, uh, guess how many circles are in that set? I don't know how many. Fourteen. Huh? Fourteen. Oh, we can barely hear you. Fourteen. Ooh. Fourteen. That's a lot. Yeah. And it was only like three dollars for the set. Really? Where? AliExpress. Oh, the place oh. that shall not be named. Whoops. <laughs> oh whoops. I shouldn't have said that. Oh whoops. Shoot. Um get my video taken away. I ordered some I ordered some stuff from there. And they seem to be working all right. Yep. But I ordered the kitty cat one, and I wasn't too thrilled with it. But you can tell it's a kitty cat anyway. Um, shift probably. Cut to... Just so Ouch, Barbara. Ooh, she set her own foot, her own toe. Well, I did mine too, so just a little crack, crunch. Yeah. You cannot even see where I see you, Doc. Sue Sosa says, I'm loving this fan. I'm going to make me one. Oh, I'm, I hope so, guys. Look at this, Lace. Oh, wow. That I is, want to fan it. I want to fan it. It's gorgeous. Generally, with, when you break a, a toe or a finger, your first reaction is to drop to the floor and put a death grip on it. And that generally sets it right then and there. Whether you try to or not, you're going to end up cutting your own phone because you're old mom do it so tight. Mm. And like I said, you can decorate this whatever color laces that your living room is in. You can dye your laces. You could do anything. I've got Ritz dye. If I really wanted to dye all of these, I could have. That is just stunning. <laughs> now, I am thinking that I would like to add the marabou feathers underneath this next layer of lace. Oh. I want to put one on every single every single fork. If I have to trim them, I will. So let's see. Cover up all that fringe. How about go from the circle out? Mm, yeah, that might, I don't like that one. I mean, like from up here? Yeah. Yeah, that might be a good idea. But I will trim these down because they are way too long. I don't want them to take away all my stems and my fork. Yeah. Ooh, that's a long one. I don't like the ones that look like that. That one. 
that one. Oh, I can really smell my candle. I have a candle burning in here. It smells like cinnamon. Cinnamon, cinnamon, So that's my idea. Yeah, I think I'm going to um, trim them down and glue them. And then I will put my next layer on. So don't cry, guys. They're not going to be sticking out that much. Yeah, so, you got to so. let the fringe show through. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's like perfect length. Yeah. Okay, so let me move all of them. These ought yes. to make want to make it like a Indian headdress. Kind of. Hello. Cut that one too short. Next. I'm going to put the glue on the actual feather. You guys like them with the feathers and the fringe? Ain't that darling? Goofy girl she is. Well, hi, Sue Poland. Is that Poland? Poland? Hi, Sue. Yeah, I like the feathers that way. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, I'm going to be sneezing soon. She says, hey, looks great. Thank you, Sue. Okay, push that in. I think that's adorable. <clears throat> so, I don't want to eat. Gotta eat that spaghetti salad up. Oh, you still have spaghetti salad? Yeah. Ooh. I don't do good with old leftovers. <clears throat> I wouldn't eat it past three days old. I wouldn't even eat it past two days. I throw a lot of leftovers out. I'm very wasteful. Ask Patty. He'll tell you. Whoa, I didn't mean to squeeze that much glue in there. Nope. Wow. Oh, some hell. Honestly, didn't want to put that much glue in there. Is there anybody? I want to go make me a Sammy. 
I want a Sammy. Make me one. All right. What kind? Ham. Okay. I like ham. Ham and cheese and lettuce. All right, two more to go. Is that in there? <clears throat> and we should have one left. Wow, this one's so pretty. There. Oh. That is gorgeous. I love how these feathers just fall. I got glue strings everywhere. I could feel them. And we have extra feathers. This one looks like it didn't even make it on here. So you know what I'll do? I'll just cut another one. That one doesn't look right to me. I'll just put another one in there. Now it looks like they all have a feather, right? Okay, let's have a look. Oh, that's so pretty. That one looks bare, so I had a spare one, and it's right here. So we'll snip you, and we will add you here too. But you want to find out. There. Does that look good, guys? <coughs> this is so adorable. This is one of the best fans I ever made. Oh. <clears throat> I need to get rid of some glue strings before I go mental. Okay. All right, I'm going to just stand that up there. Oh my God! Read what Jada typed. Oh my God! Now who who typed what? Which dog, Jada? Whose dog is it? Okay, I need a wet nap or something. Ugh. Forfeit the hell no way. I got care credit for my cats. Oh man, that's sad. Whose dog is it? Okay. Her sisters. Why are they going to do that? You get it I don't out. know. I've never heard of such a thing. The dog got hit by a car, so in the meantime, all this time, it's suffering. It got hit by a car? Yeah. Oh, no. That's sad. I tell you what, vets, oh, they're in the forest for the fucking money. Excuse my language, but it's bullshit. Okay, this is just not coming off here. I had one that bitch us out because we changed my cat's name. 
Didn't go back to him again. What do you mean bitched you out because you changed your cat's name? You're not allowed to do that? All right. We wanted fuzz butt and then we, we actually called her sweet pea and then we went back to fuzz butt and he got upset about it. It's like, well, fuck you. Try not to swear, Martha, because my video, my channel's under review. Swear. Sorry. It's under review for monetization. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. If they're swearing, they're not going to allow that. I don't think some companies won't want you as their thingamajigger. All right, I think I got rid of all that glue and feathers. Oof, I think they're up my nose, though. I don't like it. <coughs> so, now, as I was saying, with this here, I really think this is going to look really gorgeous in, in around here. I think I'm going to just kind of glue it in. Go with the flow. Or just put one in the middle of it. No, I'm saving that for the paper flowers. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, ladies, but I need to go help Tony. Oh, okay, girl. We're trying Thank to you. get some things done around the house. It's his only day off this week, so. Okay, well, thank you for being here. I didn't think he was going to actually do anything this early, but apparently he's raring to go. <laughs> well, then get her done. Exactly. Get her done. Mm -hmm. All right. Everybody have a good day. Bye, Penny. Bye. See you next time. If not, Merry Christmas. Thank, Thank you. Merry Christmas, girl. I'll, I'll watch the end of this when we're done or when I take a break. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. That is just beautiful. I can promise you guys that. It is pretty. It is From very pretty. pretty. Huh? From what okay. we see, it's pretty. All right. Now, my next layer is this one. And I believe this one was going to go over top this way. Yes, over top of that with the pearls. And then this one was going to go up the other way, which is this way. Oh, yeah. And it's going to sit right on the edge of that one because we have this. It's going to go in the middle of all of those. <clears throat> all these layers will go in the middle between the pearls. And then we will bling it up, flower it up. But I need a little break, guys, so I'm going to pause for the cause. <laughs> Intermission. Yeah. And I still am going to put uh, one of these down. I might even put them up here on the forks. Up here, where every fork is. I don't know. Because these are gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Instead of putting them on here, let me just cut one apart. You got enough of them? Oh, yeah. I could put them on the forks right on the bend there. But then it's going to interfere with the um, the fringe if I do that. If I just put it right there. Or I could put them right where all one fork is. I think that's what I'm going to do because look at how beautiful. Like I said, I have no plan. So my next fork, one would go there. Pretty, eh? 
I think that's what I'll do. Okay, I'll be back. I just need a few minutes break. I'm going to run to the potty, and I'm going to go let my doggy out. Wait a minute. Peggy wants to know, what did you use for the spine? What spine? The middle of the forks, I presume. Oh, if you rewatch the video, you'll see I made it. These are made with forks, plastic forks. These are from the dollar store. And this is chipboard covered. I covered it with paper just because you'll see the back of it. If people look at it, you want it to be a nice finish on the back. And that's the spine. It's just 11 forks centered, spaced out evenly on here. So. Yeah, I think she's going to love this, guys. That's going to make a nice Christmas present for her. Okay, I'll be back. You guys, I have to take a minute break. You'll have to watch the whole thing over again, honey. No, you can't have none. They're mamas. They're mamas. Food. I like food. Bye, Sue. Have a good day. That really would make an awesome headdress. A lot of feathers and beads.
Yeah, something that pretty. I wouldn't hang in the bathroom. It'd get all steamy, and half the glue would be melting off. If anybody takes really hot showers. You're goofy kitty. Get in there. Mom. We'll get up there. Anyone doing any crafting right now? I think everybody wants to go take a potty break. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Oh, yay, Debbie's still here. Just finished embroidering of two Christmas stockings. Ooh, Peggy. <clears throat> Sounds pretty, Peggy. Barbara's eating, too. Yay, food. Uh, I feel sorry for your sister's doggy, Jada. There's no... Mm. There's no emergency vet you can take them to real quick. Because they really cannot turn somebody down. A vet can, but emergencies can't. I don't think. Oh, she's got coffee in hand. Okay, but I made myself a cup of coffee, and I added this stuff that my mother-in-law sent me from California. It's called pumpkin caramel. 
and I poured about that much of the bottling because I didn't know it was sweet and I had to dump it. <laughs> I had to make oh it boy. Coffee. That, I might as well just poured my coffee in the sugar bowl. And I don't like sugar that much. Okay, back to the drawing board. Be back to gluing. Another layer on. So this one here, I want to put on here. So, let's do it like that. Let's get it a little push down. I don't really like that stuff, by the way. It leaves a horrible aftertaste in your mouth from the sweetener that they use in it. It says zero calories, zero sugar. So what it does what flavor is it? Pumpkin caramel. I mean, it tastes good, but it leaves an aftertaste, and I can't stand the taste of diet sugar. Mm. Or diabetic sugar, or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to snip the pearl off because I don't want the bulky and I'm just going to cut this one off. Because I don't want it to bulk on the back. That one's done. We'll do the same here. Uh, just add some blue. Make sure my fringes not messed up. And press that down. Probably give me a hard time to get lost. All right. That one, that pearl trim is gorgeous on this fan. Just beautiful. Who likes the pearl trim? I do. Okay, now for this one, we are going to glue it up this way. So I will snip off this first pearl. Pop goes the weasel. Because I don't want the bulk behind. Well, hello, Angela. Hey. Girl, how are you? Oh, I'm busier than one arm paper hanger. Paper hanger, eh? Yeah. Got a party to do. Oh. But I saw this and I had to come in. You saw this? Uh huh. This is my fan made out of forks. What? Made out of forks. No. -uh. Uh -huh. uh huh. Look. Dollar store plastic wow. forks. That is awesome. It's a Christmas present for my daughter's mother in law to be. <coughs> We're going there for Christmas Eve dinner. We're having Chinese food. They're making Chinese food. And I, I forgot to buy her a gift. <laughs> so I thought, why not craft something? I have time. I have a little bit of time to do this. You got some beautiful lace picked out, too. It took a while. Ask them. Oh, this is just starting to look really beautiful. I wanted to make her two of them, but she's only got enough for one. Yeah, I don't one. have enough. Yeah. Look, I had two started. 
I was going to make two, <clears throat> but I don't have enough lace. I was going to make her two matching ones, but I well, don't have enough. It is gorgeous. And Debbie, cut, Debbie, I got your package today uh, with all of those unique uh, trims in it. Really neat stuff. Thank you so much. I have to show y'all after the holidays. No, I've got a party for the color guards. We'll be like 12 people here. When is that? Well, they can come rolling in probably right after lunch. I've, oh. got, a, I've got to cook a cheese dip, sausage balls, pigs in a blanket. And oh. yeah. That's all today? Huh? That's today? Uh-huh. Yep. You got to cook pigs in a blanket today? Yeah. I got to cook sausage balls, pigs in a blanket, cheese dip. Um, I think you'd be best getting on the ball. <laughs> I will here in about 30 minutes. <laughs> but I had to come in and watch this. I have been so busy all week. Yep. You know the pigs in the blanket too. It's easy. Just layer it like a um, lasagna. I cheat. I use Pillsbury. Yep. Wraps. I use Pillsbury's crescent rolls and little smokies. Yeah, that's what I do. Oh. I don't make that from scratch. <laughs> that is not what I thought it was. Ruby, pigs in the blanket. I Okay. Pigs in the blanket to me is a Polish dish. Mm. Yeah. Right, the cheese dip I make is um with rotel, sausage, and Velveeta. Yeah, that's good dip. Yep. Easy, good, to the point. What were you saying, Angel? You got what? I got your I got your Christmas present from you. The cutter. Isn't that awesome? Yes, I did. I love it. I can't wait to try it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got it. I know. Uh, when I was at your other show, my fucking electricity went out again. Oh, don't swear, Angela. My my channel's under review. What? My channel's yeah. under review for um, monetization. The whole channel or just your videos? My videos. Right, you have to manually have them under. You have to manually review. It already is. Yeah, it takes about. Well, with the holidays, it's taking a little bit longer, but it normally takes about twenty-four to forty-eight hours. They said that they're running behind. Under yep. under that, it says we are running behind, and we will get to your videos as soon as we can. Something like that. Yep. Don't you be climbing on my table. Get down. Oh, you want to lick my plate? Um, that that is so okay. This is what happens. A computer. Are you on a com <laughs> uh, they have a computer set up to where on certain uh, they're doing it to all channels. I have to manually put in my monetization on every video I do. Oh, I don't. I it this channel. This channel's never been monetized, but I applied for it. And it says your channel is under review. And I was like, okay. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Well, Angela, let's hope they aren't reviewing this one because I said the word earlier too. I'm sorry. <coughs> well, yeah. Not a big but, deal. I apologize. I'm sorry. It just slipped out. But anyway, um, yeah, YouTube, my my channel, I've had my channel since 2012, and I have to individually monetize my videos. I don't. None of them. Well, I don't know. I, I, this is not a monetized channel yet, so I don't know. There. Looking lovely. Now, I want to say, these. I want to say hi to everyone. 
Hello, Crystal. Hello, Sue. Hello, Jan. Barbara, Debbie, Kathy, Peggy. Ouch. Leon. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. And I need three more. Eight. Nine and, and eleven. So I've got eleven of those cut. I'm almost thinking that's all I want to put in there. <laughs> the bling. Okay, now let me put this stuff on one layer at a time. That lace is so pretty. There is layer upon layer upon layer here. Lots of layers. Lots of layers. But the outer, <laughs> I'm talking about the outer lace. Yeah. So that one's going to go in that direction. I can't believe this is out of forks. Yeah, out of forks, girl. It sure is out of forks. <coughs> A last minute gift. I, I didn't know what to get her, so I thought I'll just make her something. And this came to my head. I made these years and years and years ago, many years ago. And I knew how much mom, my mom liked hers, so I'm figuring Margaret will like this too. I know it doesn't seem like much with just this plain white lace, but I'm telling you, if you could see this in real life, the layers upon layers is just gorgeous. Because that's what shabby chicing is. It's just layer upon layers of lace. Whether you see it underneath, no matters. But all of mine you can still see. See, you can still see all mine. I never camouflaged at all. See, I don't have enough to do a second one. <laughs> oh my gosh, I put this on upside down. But that's okay, I don't care. They're not going to know. So that one can get trimmed off now. I forgot I muted myself and I'm just blah, 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 blah. I seen the shiny on the other side of the ribbon. <laughs> Yeah, it is shiny on the other side, but that's okay. You ain't going to see much of that. All right, next one is, next layer is the pink ribbon. See, that's going to give it some shine right there. Uh-huh. Yeah, so no worries, not a worry. <laughs> Toby says, looks good. You got a lot done. Sorry, I fell asleep. <laughs> oh, no. <coughs> My cats are on. I pray that they do not cut me. Okay. You remember that bad storm I had a while back? The where the, where the tornado landed in my front yard? Well, obviously, it tore up Jack as far as the transformers out in my neighborhood. And they have been working on them for six weeks now. Replacing all of them. And I pray that they don't do it today. Oh, brother. Because when I was on your show the other day, I was there talking, and all of a sudden, bloop. Okay. Yeah, we didn't understand where you went. Angela's here. I'm going to go work on my card for a bit. I'll be back. Okay. 
it, electricity went the hell out, and I was P.O.'d. Pretty good. There. Look at how cute is that. All right, next layer is the pink stuff. This stuff here. Okay. Well, let's trim that. Get these out of the way. This is so pretty. It I'll is gorgeous. I'll yeah. probably say that 20 times. <laughs> what? I said I'll say that 20 times. This is so pretty. I told them I'd be doing a shabby sheet project. <laughs> I didn't lie. Nope. This is, I love it. I really do. But I really need to get some lace. I don't have any more pretty ruffled laces or nothing. And our fabric store is way too expensive. It's like $25 a meter. Hell with that. Who's that? Yeah. yeah. I'm not spending that for lace. Mm -mm. No, you can spend that and get 50 <laughs> You know. Yeah. Other places and stuff. Yes. Yeah, I got to replenish my shabby chic stuff. I haven't bought nothing shabby chic in probably. Well, I don't do a whole lot of shabby chic. I know. This, this, well, this coming year, I'm really going to branch out differently, I think. I'm going to, I have some plans. I'm going to branch out differently. I'm going to really try to concentrate on what the heck happened to the, okay. Really try and concentrate on the, um, on both my channels. Break oh. out differently as far as craft products, craft, you know, because I've been doing a lot of research lately and kind of watching what the trends are going to be and stuff like that. See, this is what I think why people like our channels, Ruby, is because we don't have what we create, you don't have to spend a boo of money. No. No, and, I mean the laces I'm using, those can cost money if you're buying them from your local store, but if you get them from the store that I will remain unnamed, you guys know what I'm talking about. And uh, they're super, super cheap. And the quality isn't that bad because I've bought a lot from that. Right. And see, it's just being um, cost effective. Paying attention to, you know, that everybody's not rich. By any means, I am not rich. I haven't bought, like, like I said, I haven't bought laces or anything shabby chic in probably nine months. Um. And, you know, innovation, it's like showing 
people how to create something beautiful out of what you have and how to reinvent it, basically. Or show people how to be, you know, uh, my goal is, is to show people how to look at their environment and teach them how to, like, stuff that they would normally walk past that's dirt, dirt cheap. Teach them how to look at it in a different perspective. Mm -hmm. Hey, Carol. I'm already yawning and it's 12 o'clock. Yes, Debbie, how to be frugal, how to, um, you know, there's, of course, there's going to be some Prima products that I'm definitely going to want to try, but I also, I'm, you know, there, it's kind of like this. You gotta, okay, it's kind of like this. This is why you got to look at it. Think of it as a beauty, in, you know, like in the beauty industry, there's luxury brands, and then there is cost-effective brands. You can go drugstore or you can go the dollar store and get you some CoverGirl or whatever. Or you can go to some <coughs> or Ulta and get you Clinique and um, Saint Laurent, uh, Louis Vuitton, uh, just all kinds of luxury brands. But if lipstick is lipstick, okay? Lipstick is lipstick. So you gotta look at it like glue is glue. There are certain brands of glue that are better than others, but you have to, you know, you can teach you how to splurge a little, save up and splurge. That's what I do is I save up and I splurge a little on myself. I don't, I, I do not, <coughs> what, my main thing is do not, whatever you do, do not go cheap on your tools. No, 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 no. Because, like I said, I've had my silhouette. Gosh, that was the very first. I have the very first silhouette cameo that ever come out, and it still does its job. Um, and I, I do not go cheap on my tools because I know my tools are going to last. But as far as like, see, that's me. Like with my makeup and stuff, I don't go cheap on my brushes or anything, but I'll go to the dollar store and buy an eyeshadow. But I don't go cheap on like my facial creams or my brushes. That's me. That, well, that's the way I've always been. And I, and I save up. It is so I think it's what it is. That is so pretty. Now, one more layer, and that would be this stuff. I'm just a little dollop on all of this. Is that rhinestones? It's just metallic pearls. Oh, okay. Yep. It's just a layer of metallic pearl, pink metallic pearls. I don't want to do too much in advance like that because it dries way too fast. I want to keep it straight. Hey, uh, Debbie, do you know this braided uh, trim that you sent me? Do you know what it's called? It's sure really she does. 
This stuff is all that stuff is all from the UK. I know. It is so pretty. It feels like, okay, the, the braided, I know it's probably made out of like a nylon trim, but it also feels like metal. Really neat. Okay, great. Uh, she put a link. On in your group where she got this stuff from Ruby I know when I went and looked at it and I couldn't find any of what she bought I don't know what to look under yeah that's what I'm saying it's a uh, BTR Tia went downstairs again. I could hear her going. Poof. She wants up. She can't get up those two steps. What a little stinker. Let her go get her. Cord. He says it's called cord. Okay. All right, and that's that. There, now let you have a little close up to look at all the trimmings on there. Mm -hmm. Now, let's glue down these. I better go get tea, I'll be right back. Little shit. <laughs> Okay. All right, she's happy again. Okay. Now I'm gonna go. Oh, it's called Debbie says the braided cord that she said is called Zara braided cord. But if you search for cord, it's in you can find it. Right. D A R I. Oh, Vari. Yeah, Z A R I. Yeah. After this party, I'm pretty much ready for Christmas to be over. Oh, are you? Yeah. I haven't even started with all our Christmas gatherings. We got a gathering Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And then I work for three days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because we have Monday, Tuesday off, and then Jeff and I are on two weeks vacation. Well, Danny... Um, after today, he'll be, he won't go back to work till January 3rd. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's taking his vacation. Oops. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to get him to help me do a few things around the house that needs to be done. The inside, not the outside. 
Did they close the shop down or? No. He's just, um. Oh, Michael's just sent me a text. It's here, your last minute deals. Christmas clearance now, 70% off. Anyway. Um, no, uh, other people are working in the shop. He just, he has to take his vacation or he'll lose it. Oh. He gets six weeks in a year. Nice. Okay, I got a on my finger. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh my god, now who's scratching at the dang door? What is going on with these dogs? I don't know, but my cats are frisky. Yeah. Aw, you want it in my room. That's okay if you scratch at the door. You're the best dog ever. Daisies or something. Oh my gosh, y'all. I was ready to hang almond up on a hanger the other day. I don't know what got into him, but I couldn't calm him down. And I and then he got to, he got two of my other cats all frisky and running all over the place. I mean, he attacked my Christmas tree like eight times. And I finally, Michaela come down, she said, oh, by the way, mama, they have calming cat music. Well, I got Google to stream it all through my house. It worked. It Calmed did. them down in about two minutes. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Yes, it is. Look at those beautiful flowers. Oh, wow. Okay, now. For this center, I really don't know what I want to do. I kind of like the fact of these just sitting in there with, with ribbons hanging down. So that's what we're going to do. So we need a whole whack of ribbons hanging down. So I'm just going to lay some glue here. Oh, Miku, make sure you start. Uh, I want some Rick Rack. Um, you want some of this too. Okay, you want some of this. Hi, buddy. I was going to. Um, what else do I want? I want some of this. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. I need some of this hanging down. Bless you. I think I'm not, there's something dying outside. What's the temperature at your house, Ruby? Uh, minus 15. Minus <laughs> 60 here. <laughs> Shut up. You can go outside with flip flops here. That's wonderful. <laughs> it's just wonderful. <laughs> I noticed everybody else like has some snow and stuff. Shoot. I could go outside, right? I got my front door open. Does that tell you anything? All right. I hate it.
Really cruising, aren't you, buddy? Hi, baby. Oh, is he, is he saying something new now? Oh, he's saying hi, baby. Because that's what I always say to him. Oh. Baby. Debbie says Canada sent her cold air. Oh, they're bad. Nasty. Okay, so what should I make a bow with? Oh, probably this stuff here. Let's make a double bow. Uh, it's kind of bent there, so I'm cut it off. Oh, Miku, I'm going to shoot you. It's calling you saying hair burber. Now he's going high body. You want to be a moron, then be a moron. I don't care. Sheila Hoover said, just woke up to his beautiful surprise. Who said that? Sheila Hoover. Caleb, the Febreze is on the counter. Thank you. Thank you for all the compliments, guys. So we're going to put a bow here, but I want to put my flowers on first. So I do need my wire cutters to turn some of this off. Whoa. I guess I didn't do a very good job at wrapping that one, did I? Hi, baby. What? What's up? What's that? Do you really need to back in that bag? Darn it. Grab it by the handle. I know. Of course it would go way underneath the table. Of course. Well, good. Now, where's me bow? 
like four. Like the middle of like four or five to show over and everybody's gonna get here. Really, I gotta make a lot. Wow, looking stunning there, Ruby. I know, it's gorgeous. Now, all it needs is, oh, I love this center. I really do. It's a little bit of bling on this now, and then it's done. And that's going to make a beautiful gift for anybody. Any, like, it turned out even big, because these are big forks. <laughs> but... Let me get my bling and see. <coughs> Hi, Tracy. Four. I really need these flowers, but I don't want to overkill it either. Okay, I'm just going to put bling on it. I do love this too. I really think that should go right in the center with a bling in the middle. Let me have a look. See. Hi, Tracy. Hi, everyone that's come in late and I didn't say hi to you. I'm rude. Hey, Tracy. I'm so, I'm so rude. Okay. I really think this should go right there with the bling in it. Wait. Let me have a look. Um, maybe right there with the bling in it. Right here or maybe one here yeah and one here there you go one sets there three. And what and sets of three definitely I don't have three of these I only have two oh. I don't want to put one in the middle because it's going to take away from my focal point and that's this so if I just sit one here and one here, I think that looks stunning. And I'll put a little bling in the center of those. Look it. How cute is that? That's really nice, Ruby. Hey? Yeah. That's a real beautiful shabby chic fan. <laughs> <is>. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's see what we've got for me. Shut up, me too. I'm thinking of these really soft pink. Roses. One in the center there. No, it's boring, Sam. It's gorgeous, Ruby. She will love it. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Who said that? Joyce Boring. Oh, thanks, Joyce. Merry Christmas to you too, girl. Just want to take a wee bit of bulk out of there. Where I put that pink flower? And I want to put this in the center. Okay, and I need one more pink one. And it is right here. I and think these, eBay gifts are better than commercial gifts anyway. Yeah. I have to agree. I don't even need really to cut much out of this one. Look at how cute.
Oh my god, those look stunning in there. Look at what do you think? Mm-hmm. Miku doesn't like it. <laughs> Hello, Miku. Miku can't shut up. Miku wants a snack. <laughs> what he does all day long, he'll shut up for about two hours and start all over again. Woohoo. Thank you, Debbie. I'll check out that link. Um, I think in there. Oh, yeah. In there. Not really. Mm -hmm. Wish I had a whole bunch of these enamel flowers. Mm -hmm. Little flames in them. They're white. If y'all hear a humming, it's Michaela vacuuming upstairs. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, you're going to that suits my fancy right now. So let's have a look in this one. Maybe it needs big ones. Like Put one of them big ones in the, on the middle fork on the top. See what it looks like. Yeah. Shoot. Oh, Miku. Stop. Already. With them big beauties on it, is that going to, is the... Lace gonna fold over with them glued on there? No. All right. No, I don't think so. If anything, it'll make it crunchy. But I can't use that size because I only have any one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, any ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And nine and one more biggie. What? Come on, don't do that. Oh, look at this crown. Wow. Oh, my God. Yes, it's got to go there. So I don't need 10. I have just the perfect amount. The Masala water should be. Oh, my God. That gets annoying after a while. <laughs> what a little shithead. I think I dropped some. Okay, I know you all can't see the crown, but let me show you it. Oh, that's pretty. Hey, baby. What? What would it? What would that crown look like? Like on top of those flowers? You know, like at the top behind the flowers. These? Yeah. Wedge it behind the yeah, behind your paper flowers. What do you think? Like that. I do.
He is definitely cruising to go get locked in his room. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. Oh, yeah. so this one here, I'm going to have to do every second one. I don't have enough. Yeah, I'm going to make a bleeding order. I'm low, very low, very low. Ow, ow, ow. Where's that spatula? Okay. I forgot to get a small blink for my center of my bow. So while that one's drying, let me get this one back out because I need the smaller ones to go in between. And let me put a small one in the center of that bow. Don't want blue. Oh, don't want blue. Uh, there we go. Need one to match the crown. I'm the same color as the crown. All right. Now that one's hardened. Perfect. Right, now I'm going to get the smaller ones out and I'm going to just alternate the small with the big. Not how many I need, but let's do this one. Mm -hmm. And let's stick you in the middle of the bow. Wow, we've given this lots of beautiful bling. Okay. I thought you had to do every other one. I am doing every second one of the big. Oh, okay. Nice. I thought you meant like one more over. Yeah. Hola, Hola. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Donkey girl. I love you, girl. Love you so much. I love everyone. I want to wish everyone a very merry, merry Christmas. And uh, I will see y'all after Monday. Yep. All right. Bye. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Okay. So now I need two more small ones and a glue stick. What do you guys think of this?
Is it not just beautiful? Who oh, should? <laughs> Thank you, Sheila. It's all in the bling, right? You got that right. And one more big one. There. Wow, there you guys go. Look at this. Stunning. I need to do a little bit of surgery with this. And I just need to get rid of all these tiny billion, thousand, trillion blue strings. Believe me, they are everywhere on this. Now, when you hang this, you always hang it on a slant. So on this fork here is where I'm going to put the hook for hanging. So I'll just use a piece of white ribbon. And we'll put a hook on it. A thing. A hook. Hang it up. Got a little bit of glue here and there, but you know what? All right, so let me turn this off a little more. And now we will reinforce that. Where's the biter stuff? Right here, piece of bite stuff. Oh, I'm not cutting very straight, but you get the gist of it. That's where it's going to hang from, and I'm just going to let that glue harden, and I'm going to pick it up with that, flip it over, and make, oh shoot, I put it on the wrong, oh no, I have it hanging that way. Perfect. I'm going to hang like this on the wall. Yep, 
like that. Ooh, the bobbles on it look really pretty in between the little roses. Yes. Oh, and you look put the, the crown on it. Yeah, right there. Aww. So there you go, guys. There you can just decorate yours however you like it, whatever kind of laces you got. Do whatever you want. Just use the forks as your base and do whatever you want. Like, I will build another one with other laces. And I'm going to hang this one in my room. <clears throat> Just not today. So I didn't expect this to take me this long, but I wouldn't have done both of them this fancy because I wouldn't have had enough supplies for sure, like these big things. Right. So I'll put other things on mine and hang this one in my or maybe sell this one. I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. But this one's for Margaret. And I uh, really, really enjoy it. Margaret's going to absolutely love this. Very pretty. Yeah. So there you guys have it. A Shabby Chic Project by Ruby Lockwood. <laughs> anyway, there we go. And I did. I tried to keep... See, Mar Martha, this isn't pulling it forward at all. Wow, well, I really thought it would, but it didn't at all. No, not at all. Sweet. I really think she'll love this. Well, she don't. She's nuts. Yeah, I think she will. She's She just likes simple things in life. So this here piece of elegance is just, I think it's elegant. Do you guys think this is elegant? Well, Sheila, now you can get all your supplies uh, and make your sister this next year. But you know what I don't like? I noticed there's no threads hanging down on that side. So I'm just going to trim these off because I can't even get them to stay away from hanging there. So the little dangles. Yeah, there we go. Like that. Yep, now you guys could just get all your supplies and... I love all of this hanging down. I really do. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah. Sets it up of, just right. Yeah, and a little bow. So you guys can do whatever you want. And if you guys make these, I hope you guys post pics in my, my group because I always love to see what other people do with my stuff that I make. It's so fun to, to uh, look at everything and the colors that people choose. I'll be like, oh, my God, I would never think that those two colors would go together. But you know what? They do. And that's it. That's, I'm, glad I, I, I'm glad I got live today with you guys. Tomorrow I have nothing planned. Um, I had come to terms with that I was never going to get that uh, night before Christmas book done before Christmas. So it's unfortunate. I'm not going to get it done. I just didn't have the time, guys, and I'm really sorry. So, But I might work on it on my New Year's Eve uh, project because it's very time-consuming. And if I just rush through it, then it's not going to turn out. So I don't want to do that. You know, I don't want to rush, rush through it. And I did clean up all my craft room. I put a new ranger mat down my favorite things mat down so i'm just trying to clean up so you guys can have a nice look at this pretty little fan good idea yep <clears throat> a perfect gift for anybody okay my loves i'm gonna get going now oh and I promise I will eventually get back to my book. I was thinking of a way how I could take this whole entire page out. Oh, why? Well, I don't like how thick it is. And I wanted to just remove this out of here and recreate a page and just put the pocket the right flat onto the page and not do this. See how it's got the pockets in it? It's just yeah. way too thick. And it's having a hard time closing. So, I mean, this one here is okay. This one's okay with the pockets here. This is all okay. Hey, how come, where is the one out of there? Oh, I took it out because it wouldn't close. 
that's what I did. But yeah, this is just way too thick in here, so I might recreate a whole new page and tear this one out. And just cut, just cut that piece you got in your hand out. Just that one flap. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to cut the whole flap out. And oh. yeah, I have to cut the whole page out and recreate a new page. Oh, bum. Yeah, but I can still reuse this on other pages. I'm not going to ruin it. That's what I mean. If yeah. I could, yeah, if I could just cut it out, I might just cut it right off instead of trying to rip it off because this does not bend and it doesn't close and it's damaging here and it's damaging the pages. See, it's damaging everything. So uh, I don't want to do this. On these ones here, like see these thicker ones? I can put the pockets here, but where I have a number, that's where a page goes. I'm just going to put the page on. That's it. Nothing else. No pockets underneath like this. Save them for this. Right. Yeah. So that's uh, what I'm going to do before New Year's. I just absolutely love this. And I want to fix this. I can't have all these pockets, guys. I just can't. And this will tear up easily. I'm not worried about it. It's not easily. But I can find a way to tear it up. And I can still reuse all of the pockets in here, I could still work it in. We'll see. But I do have to fix it because I absolutely adore this book. I really do. It's going to be just stunning when it's done. All right, so I would like to officially wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas, a safe one. Uh, stay blessed. Enjoy your dinner. Stay safe. Be sensible. Don't drink and drive. Um, it's not worth it. What's worth is you coming back here next year uh, alive. Uh, we'll be back before New Year's. Come on. Well, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Martha, stop getting me in trouble. Hey, 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 hey. I might have to come back next week. I know definitely when I'm on my two weeks of vacation... Uh, Jeff and I have a little bit of stuff we need to do around the house. And I'm going to probably go live lots. Make lots when, when is your two weeks? Uh, starting December 31st. Oh. Yeah. So. Sweet. Yeah. All right, guys. Merry Christmas. God bless. You know Merry I Christmas. love you, every one of you. And thank you for joining me today. If you guys make these fans. Show me them. And like I said, I make them out of clear forks. You can make them out of clear. You can make them out of white. Make whatever color you want. Red, pink, green, blue. Make them whatever color. I didn't want to make this a Christmas one. I wanted to make this so she can leave it hung up all year round. The silver yeah. goes with all the bling and the little pearly things. <laughs> yeah, that's why I stuck with silver. I do have some gold bling, but I didn't want to put any of the gold on here because this is just stunning. Would have been even nicer. Go to Dallas. Ooh. It would have even been nicer if I incorporated lights in it. Never thought of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I might, Tracy, I hear you. I might do mine with lights. All right. Thank you all. Thank you, Martha. Have a merry, merry Christmas. Love to you all. And merry peace. Christmas to you, Ruby, and Happy New Year. We love you, too. Love you all. Bye, guys.